Bring champs. It's important to the culture, man, simply because I think it's important for artists to come on here and be able to have a platform to speak their truth, you know, to be celebrated, to be honored. I think that's important. I appreciate the acknowledgement, most importantly, because I think we all deserve that affirmation, you dig? So, Dream Chance, man, deserves to be a part of the culture. It's all about the energy, it's all about the feel, it's all about the vibe. Dream Chance, shit. What a good beat. Hopefully it's what it should be. This is your boy N-A-O-N-A-A. What up? It's DJ EFN. And this is Drink Chance motherfucking Yappy Hour. Make some noise! <laughs> and right now, when you talking about uh, Broward County legend, you know what I mean? Deerfield uh, 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 legend, uh, Florida legend. The man has worked with everybody from Plies to Rick Ross to Wale to T Pain to Birdman to Trick to Waka to Little Wayne to Meek Mill to Fabulous to Two Chains to Fresh Mar. I don't know a person he ain't worked with. He worked with Mayday too. He worked with Mayday too. <laughs> yes, I did. Jasmine yes, Sullivan I did. and all type of people. <laughs> and and R E. And I gotta keep a hundred on this intro and then throughout this interview. When you think of We The Best, there's two people that you think of who built that company that was on the forefront on that camera, and this is one of them. He stood next to Khaled. They did, uh, uh, made history together, and he went on to do his own independence. He's holding it down. He ain't complaining about leaving the team. He's staying here, and he's doing what the hell he gotta do. He's out here monkey footing the game, still being relevant, still doing what he gotta do. Mm. In case you don't know what the hell we talking about, we talk about motherfucking Ace Motherfucking Hood. <laughs> now, that intro in, legendary. In, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, uh, you you you, you rapped because you like you like a rapper, rapper like like you a lyricist. Like I can tell you ain't gonna write no rhyme down and just. And, and and half assed. Like, like you, 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 you're one of those dudes. So how 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 did you even develop that in the, in the beginning? And especially, I guess it's a double double question because a lot of people don't look at all South artists as, as lyricists. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So a lot of people. So how did you develop that? Like you know what I'm saying? Being lyrical and then <clears throat> did you, uh, let's take well, being lyrical first. And, uh, so you know I I don't know man. You know what's so crazy is that the fact that. Uh, South artists wasn't really known for right. lyricism right, exactly. or, or putting together rhymes like that. So it's like right. um, I wanted to be a South artist that was able to do so. Right. So I listened to a lot of like, you know, uh, up north influence, you know what I'm saying? So right. it's like cannabis, big L, like, you know what I mean? I right. listened to a lot of people that was really yeah, rapping, yeah, yeah. people right. who was really doing their thing. So, uh, so for me, it was always about that. You know, mm -hmm. these were people who were saying words, using mm -hmm. terminology and just language that was just very different. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I wanted to have a little bit of both because, yeah, we got the balance, but I want to be right. able to say something in right. my music. You know, and then obviously being with, with, with Khaled and that whole situation was like uh, the expectation. You know, once the bar mm -hmm. get raised, it's like that's where we at with it. Right. And know? it's not that it wasn't out here. It just wasn't known. It wasn't right. seen. I mean, it wasn't, no, no, it wasn't real, seen a lot. No, I, I some mean, real stuff. Like right. in terms of the South, that's yeah. what people consider. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, didn't yeah. consider us as being lyricists. Right. Like, right. like going to going to to big up you and and and, and your crew. Like the, um, um, your analogies, the mother superiors, and all that. We didn't think that existed. That's right, why when you right. bring that up and, and you speak about, we thought bass music was it. Like right, that, right. We, we didn't, we didn't yeah. like looking from here. And to tell you the truth, us as consumers at that time, I think that's all we wanted from the South. Is mm. yeah, you, bubble, bubble ass and shit like that. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know. I was, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was in my head. I didn't say that. Y'all looking at me crazy. So did you ever receive slack by being so lyrical? Like, did anybody ever say, yo, you too lyrical? Or, yep. Get out of here. Yeah, bro. So, uh, oh, this is interesting because um, in, the, in the beginning, I came in so lyrical and I wanted to rap. You know what I mean? I wanted to be on some lyrical, typical, physical, fit the thing, you know what I mean? But I heard you say cannabis. That was cannabis right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to be on that type of shit. I wanted to really rap. But coming into the game and in the industry, like, I was taught that you had to dumb it down. You dig? Like, you know, I was taught that at that particular time that the consumer 
that wasn't what the consumer was 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 looking for when they wanted to have a good time. And who's or telling you that? This, like, uh, just the people that I'm around, you know, like uh, your crew, like industry this, folks. It's, it's my crew. It's the industry folk. It's the people that believe that it was, you know, partly like Caladim, because because and not in a way of saying that you can't be lyrical, but just right. um, it's different when you're trying to create a radio record or a record. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I know I know that um, in, in, in retrospect they were probably wrong, but I can and, see and, why and, and they, they were right Jay-Z, in that they, moment. And they said Jay Z did the same thing. Well, like, I mean, it's, 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 but that's what I was told. It's like, widely known that Tupac like, supposedly even, did the same thing. Right. Really? It's widely known. Yeah. That's it's the first time I've ever heard of this. Yeah. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Well, he went to death row. In, in, I mean, I don't know at what point, but it's. I mean, I don't know if this is a rumor, but it's widely known that he said that he had to bring it to a to a level where he wanted to bring people in so that everybody could understand, and then he was going to raise the bar once he had them. That's well, what. He, that's what I. Well, that's that's mm-hmm. ill because I looked at Tupac's whole career. I never seen him dumb it down. Not at one point. Have, have you ever felt like Tupac dumbed it down? I think he had more in him. In some cases, I okay. think I think Tupac okay. could have went deeper with yeah. some of it. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? And but you, not, but and, not really. And you yourself, you ever dumbed it down? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> it looks like he was ready to get in that yeah. conversation. Yeah. Because okay. the, you know, when you're trying to learn, you know, you're trying to build a fan base. You know, it's it's you know, you know, you listening to the people that done it before. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's like. Um, you know, you got to experiment, man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's really what it was like for me. It was like, all right, cool. So I know I have to dumb it down in order to create, in order to create certain records. Right. But I also know that, um, you know, I got so much more in me. You know what I mean? I can tell real stories and stuff yeah. like that. You, know, you listen to Nas, you listen to people like yourself, like you hear stories. Mm-hmm. I like that. Right. Take me on a journey throughout this. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, so that's that's more so where I'm at now in my now, mind. Now, too. now I'm Deerfield Beach, right? Deerfield. That's right. Now growing up there, who was your who was your influences? Because I'm sure it's very cliche to say Trick Daddy, and mm-hmm. but is there some Deerfield Beach yeah, legends that up. we is don't? There? Huh? Yeah, I want to know too. Yeah, like, oh, all right. Did I have some good Florida? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so look, okay, so look. Pick up my phone. Right, right, right. I'm gonna do that for you. Yeah. All right, so. So coming up, the Deerfield legends were, they weren't in music though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They weren't musicians. These guys were uh, ball players. I, I grew up playing football. Wow. That was my thing. So, that's a Florida thing. Like, that's a Florida yeah, thing, bro. Football. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like all of the legends, you know, a lot of people that you see in the NFL or whatever, like these are the people that we just came up looking up towards. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Tyrone Moss of these guys. And you wow. had like, I grew up playing with Patrick Peterson. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it, so many other guys, JPP. Wow. Um, uh, just, just those type of people. You know, we was really. I grew up uh, looking up to like Deion Sanders. I wanted to be like Deion right. growing up. Right. You feel me? Like right. prime time. So right. uh, it was more so of that. And on the music side, I looked up to more so. You know, you got the Waynes. You had the Soldier Slim. Like I was big on that South type stuff. So, um, so that that was really where my influence came from when I was young. You know, we all wanted to and you have ball twenty well? fours on our on our four wheelers. Yep, I played football. Yeah. Yeah. Now the funny thing is when I didn't live out here. I always looked at it all as being Miami, meaning. Oh, let's talk about that. Deerfield Beach, I thought that was let's Miami. Talk about that, bro. Uh, That's so Hollywood, cool. I thought that was Miami. Right. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, I mm-hmm. thought it was Miami. Uh, what's the, what's my man with Kodak Black come from? Pompano. Pompano. And all these places are very different. <laughs> you gotta live out here to know yeah. that because once they see, once you land. And you see the palm trees, and you see the same dreads and the same yeah. goals. They are all affiliated. It wasn't until I got here, like you know, you know, the 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 Brooklyn and Queens rivalry, the 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 Queens within Queens rivalry mm. that I started, like you know, the Cal- the Broward County uh, day. Was you on that side of the fence where, like, yeah. you know, it was hard for you? Was it? Was yeah, it? Yeah. So so for us, bro, growing up, where we from? Right. It was it was. It was Haitian American issues mm. where we from. Oh, Haitians against Americans. It was Americans. Haitians Americans. Wow. So literally, like in high school, you I know, see that people. On gangland. I see yeah. that episode of gangland. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It's, it's, it's yeah. very real, yeah. bro. Wow, you wow, know, so wow. in high school and elementary, like, so that was the main thing. And where I stayed at, which is interesting, is that um, I grew up in an all Haitian neighborhood, which is why I came into the game with so many Zos and all mm. my homies. Like yeah. the Zos, that's my, my my brotherhood. It's like my family, right. you right. know. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Americans grew up on, on like the West Side, mm-hmm. so that was always an issue because I'm American, an American, so he's and then like you, you know what I'm saying, yeah, like but. or just like right, like American, right? right. Um, but 
that was the rival issue going on. So you had a lot of people selling drugs on this side and doing their thing and hustling mm -hmm. and doing their business or whatever. But them guys from this side can't come to this side, you know? And if you from that side, you can't come to that side. And I'm from this side, but I got homies from that west side. So that was always- And this is all different. Different. And this is, and I like, said this New York is looking at right. all of y'all the same. We're they, looking at all of y'all Everybody cool like together. the same, yeah, right? Yeah, like, okay. yeah, and and this cool is together. happening in, in Deerfield. Right. This right. is like three right. minutes down the street. Like, right. if, if I'm, I'm staying on 60, uh, 60 Hole, 60th Street, whatever, you got the other homies there on the west side, and it's, it's always, it's back and forth beef. Mm -hmm. Now you got homies pulling up on they block, doing what they do. You got homies pulling up on our block, doing what they do, and it's like, right. if you ain't sell nothing in this area, if you ain't do nothing to contribute to this area, you can't really come to this area, per se. People but, don't know how real Florida is. They think in Florida, Miami, right. everything is South Beach. Like, they have if you're no talking idea. about on some G shit, and, I, and I'm not just saying this, but if you're talking about like the trenches of Broward County, you're talking about Deerfield, Pompano, wow. period. If wow. you're talking about, that's what I believe. Like. Um, Pompano's you know, Brazil. like yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and what's so crazy yeah, about so. that is literally like yeah. Deerfield and Pompano was one and the same. Because eventually, yeah. like our area code, it got switched from Deerfield to like, actually Pompano, where I stayed, mm. same place. I didn't understand who Kodak Black was and like you know how he was doing his tactics until I started hanging out with people that that's like him, and I'm like, yeah. oh okay, this is Kodak Black. Like yeah. they all like, like they all go crazy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, got mad sense. Got mad sense. Got mad sense for yeah, sure. So, so um so. Now tell us the difference. Uh, had you been from Miami, would it have been a difference in, 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 in anything you have done? Yeah, Dif that would have been swagger? a different. There would have been okay. a different swagger for sure. Okay. I think uh, there would have been definitely a different swag, different ideas about myself. You know, um, you know. Miami was much more different. You know, Miami used to consider themselves as a little bit more forward than, than Broward County was, right? right. Mm -hmm. So when uh, say they was on, let's say, fitted jeans or fitted shirts. Broward County, we were still, uh, you know, 2X, 3X right. shirts, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. you, you pull up, we still, they still yeah. playing the Boosie and all yeah. the old vibes like, down like there. Old money video. Right. Yeah. You, pull, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh -huh. So uh, I think it, it just would have been different. And I think that's such a, a prominent point for me in my career because I received, it was so much like, Hatred because of that, because of the moves in the beginning, because like when, when people when come, you say hatred, not from di not from your people. I mean, just because like you know. So the, the biggest thing was that I was from I'm from Deerfield, mm -hmm. but shooting content in Miami. In Miami. Right. Oh, you went through that, huh? I went through that. Congratulations for you, guys. I went through that. Congratulations for you. Because like you know, I was I'm from Left Back. My first video was in Queensbridge. They did not let they, me. They did not let me go down. I hit. I could, I had no power. I had no power. Right. Okay. But right. to the people in Left Rock, they're like Queensbridge. You a Queensbridge dude. I'm like, no, I'm from Left Rack. So if you go look at listen to my album, I had to say Left Rack 3,600 3, times. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure, like, I did not claim Queensbridge. I had right. no power at the time. Right. But go ahead. And, and that's the issue that I was dealing with because I felt like I needed to go back and say, dear Phil, and be in the city constantly. Wow. So now I'm popping up in the city. Now we shoot mm. videos in the city. But you know, eventually over time I started to learn that it wasn't really about that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because constantly people was trying to attach me to Miami. Mm. And every time somebody would, I'm like, bro, I'm not from Miami. Mm. I ain't grow up in them streets, mm. that ain't my hood, right. you understand? Mm. Like, I take that to heart because I don't know them parts. Mm. And if like, you know, like we grew up, if you don't know them parts, you can't really speak on that, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's just simple and plain. So for me, I understood the idea of them, like, cool. Mm. But everything, I would say, yo, Broward, 954 is on my skin, is in my life. Like, I, I took it around the world, I moved it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, that was the biggest issue because Miami do things in a very different way than I feel like a brow would do it. You know you'd, what I'm saying? You'd have been sniffing a lot of cocaine if you lived in Miami. <laughs> yeah, you know, who knows, bro? Who knows, <laughs> man? Let's go. 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 And you know, we heard you a rum guy, so we got you. I'm a rum, yes sir. We heard you. Um, what's, what is this? The bamboo. Yeah, tune, we got yeah. you that. I like that. Got you that tune. Um, my brother. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do the regular syrup. You want some mama water? Nah, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, fan. I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna have a conversation about the, how much you like the mama water. <laughs> but, but I'm putting it here now behind <laughs> the bottle. <laughs> oh, behind the bottle. Okay. All right, okay. No, I'm gonna do um regular syrup. Ace, you want some bamboo? I'm gonna do some bamboo. Let's do some bamboo, Let's goddamn do some. it. Let's make some noise for Ace Hood, man. Let's do some bamboo, man. And we don't, we don't know if you know, but our show is about celebrating people. You know, so many people want to get rid of people. And, you know, you, I've, I've, if you looked at your crib, you have, um, career, you have a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of ups and downs, but you stayed solid, you stayed, you know, down, you stayed loyal. And um, we're gonna get into all that, Let's but we're gonna it. salute you as we get into all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I want, no. I want a shot before I go home. Yes, sir. Before I go, uh, come on, come on, guys. Salute. Salute. <laughs> You ain't got a knife? Come on, man. You, come on, you Latino, baby. Come on, what's going on? No, every Latino in the room is disappointed right now you ain't put on a switchblade. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> but uh, here, I'll get it to it. So Trials and Tribulations, I know I'm going over a place. Um, what made you name your album that at that time? Uh, shit. Oh, man, I was going through a lot of trials at that particular time. Um... What was I do, actually dealing with uh, at that time with Trials and Tribulations? That was Bugatti on there. That was hustle hard. Um, trials and Tribulations was like the, the, the answer to what I had been through, you know, yeah. in order to like uh, to solidify myself as an artist. You know, I felt like I had great records in the beginning. But I felt like it wasn't up until Hustle Hard was like my self-proclaimed record. Right. Mm-hmm. That was like the record people know me for. And I feel like in any artist's career, I think it's important for you to have a self-establishing record for yourself. And to me, Hustle Hard was no, one no, of those ones. No, we ain't talking about Hustle Hard. We talking about Charles and I got a whole shit for Hustle Hard. I know. I got a whole paragraph. I say that to say it's black. I know. I know. But I say that to pan in of just trials and tribulations. I feel like I was just dealing with... I was just, I was dealing with so much, man. I think in, in terms of just taking care of my family, you know what I mean? And trying right. to take care of my family and everybody in my family and take care of myself and also still trying to be present and create records and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and have these ideas and make sure that these are my ideas and not someone else's ideas. Mm. Make sure like I'm fully involved in the process of doing mm. that. Make sure I'm <laughs> seeing my children at the same token since I say I'm doing, I'm doing all of this for the people that I love. You know what I'm right. saying? You wanna, I want to make sure I'm spending time with these people. So I was just going through like I was just trying to find my balance yeah, you know what balance. I'm saying so trials and tribulations for me at that point was just you know I just needed to overcome something man and really just like get my feet planted for real for real because I felt like I was I guess being overcome in some way man you know or just figuring it out you just and that too figure. that too that too tough at what point you did cash flow I did Cash Flow. That was like one of the first records I did. The first record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was after I'm So Hood, but I'm So Hood didn't come out. No, no, no. That was before. That was before. That was before. That's what I meant yeah, before. Yeah. That, so that was okay. before. So that was like 2008. You okay. know what I'm saying? That was like one of the first few records. So once we decided, once I got signed to the whole We The Best situation, right. like we went in and we started recreating records mm-hmm. like right away. Mm-hmm. So that was one of the records that came out of the batch. Uh, cool and Dre was a part of that record. Shout out Cool and Dre. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out Cool and Dre them. Uh, Cal at them came in and we just wanted to create something special man right. you know what I'm saying right. and then like just to have the idea of having T-Pain and Ross them on that shit was, that. was nasty bro yeah. you it's feel not me? any T-Pain it's the T-Pain he was that, on fire oh, man. T-Pain man. shout out yeah yeah <laughs> I'm telling you and Ross too and Ross, and Ross too and Ross yeah. too yeah so alright Take this shot, Paco. Okay, I'm ready, baby. Salud <laughs> Salud, baby Salud Salud Salud, Salud. 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 Salud my brother so Carlos has his radio station. 99 Jams? 99, yep. And one of your boys got the plug to tell you that he's there, or you just figured, I'm going to just pull up? My, my boy heard him on the radio. My manager okay. at that time, he heard him on the radio. And it was like some type of contest or some shit that like he, okay. he had going on. Mm-hmm. So when he, hit, he, when he hit me about it, he came to the crib, and I was like, he was like, yo, call it up at 99 Jams. Like, I'm like, so what that mean? Like, you know, what we doing? He's like, yo, we finna go up to the radio station and, like, try to rap for bro. Like, and you already had records at the time, or you was just going in to rap? Oh, no, I had records. I and had records. Okay. Yeah, because you know they got that. Exactly. Yeah, they got That's the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we pull up, right? We pull up. Right. We pull up, first of all, we in the Merc. We in the Mercury, the Mercury leaning on over y'all. You know, the Ian Paul is the old schools back then. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna let y'all have this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah, you yeah. talking about. We what? call it a Merc. A Merc? <laughs> we call it a Merc. But it's a, it's, it's cons- a Mercury. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right. Okay. But that's the call, you know, they, they fix them up. They were okay. like the bubble, the bubble uh, Chevy's back then okay. and all that good okay. stuff, the Impala. Okay. Uh, so we in that. You know, I think it's important to say that because of just what that represented. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, the it's windows like barely dumb, work. Like the, the, the sound system <laughs> right. don't really work. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, yeah, you know, we trying to get it. Right. Right. We pull it's up rattling. At, it's rattling. It's rattling, right? right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, we pull up at the radio station. Yep. The gate is open. Wow. Thank oh. God. Normally, the gate's closed. Normally, the gate's closed. Normally, the gate's closed. Normally, the gate's closed. Normally, the gate's So, we pull up. The gate is open. I knew it was God. I knew he was all orchestrated in this. We pull up as soon as we get in there. Khaled pull up five minutes later. Right. I never forget it because I seen the way that baby blue phantom pulled up in the vibe. It was, <laughs> it was nasty, right? He pull up, he, he hop out. Now, keep in mind, now, I think this is important too for like 
you know, in general, where the game is different, but back then, like, as an artist, you had to be prepared. So I had a bio, I had a picture, I had CD with my songs on it, everything in an envelope, nigga, I, I ain't playing. Now so these like, just be like, yo, look at my Instagram. Yeah, yeah, right, just hit me like, right. Like, what's wrong with you, show me, yeah. sell, sell me on it. <laughs> sell me on right. it, goddamn. Right. Right. Yeah, go to my Instagram, like, like you gonna do it outside of, right. like, you know what I'm saying, right. me and them, like, yo, boom, whatever. But, um, so we there, Khaled there, man. We hanging out. And then Khaled's like... Uh, well, when you walk up on him, he's not hesitant. We, right. Yeah, they, they so... They know people pull up on him. They're like, ah, oh, damn. Right. Because he didn't call you for two weeks later, right? Or something like he that. He called... So he hit he hit back that night. But, but, but I'm skipping. Yeah, you I forgot to give you... He gave him the CD. We gave him the CD, right. Because I wanted to rap for him. Rap, yeah. yeah, I wanted to rap for him. I couldn't rap for him. He had this radio station. He had to be there at 615, 630, yeah. right? You got to be doing his thing. So I didn't, I didn't hear back or hear anything until like the following day. You know, like he hit my manager back that same night oh, wow. and was having a conversation with him and wow. was like, yo, boom, boom, boom. I like what I heard. I hear the hunger. Right. Like, I want to work with this guy. Right. And wow. from there, two weeks later is when we had the prior meeting to actually mm -hmm. signing and, and, you know, and, and figuring out what we want to do. Right. right. And then when he sent you, I'm so hood. Was oh, T-Pain on there? Was anybody on there or he just sent you the beat? T-Pain was on there. T-Pain yeah, he sent me the, so he sent me the, you know, bro, that's, that's, it's crazy when I think about it because just in my mind of hearing that song, right, being in Club Boca with the homies, not even knowing Khaled and not Club even knowing Boca. nothing. Right, you know about that Club Boca. <laughs> right. So like we in there vibing with you the homies shot, and like, I'm you feel me? Like, 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 right Club Boca right now. Club Boca right now. This was in there. It's definitely so, true. Let's go. <laughs> that shit crazy. So in my mind, we catching the vibe. And so for him to send me a record that got T-Pain uh, hook, but the, a free verse and then this hook come back, I felt like I was like, man, that's like, this is, a, no, this is not a normal opportunity. Right. Keep paying on the hook and it ain't like I, I orchestrated to put this together or I right. took a little piece and I'm ripped so it. Hard. Like, right. Yeah. When I said that, I just, I just felt like I gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta come with it. I wrote wow. like five, six verses, bro. Wow. I went to the studio God that damn, same time, bro. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. And, um, and, and from there, man, once I, I, I you know, knock them verses out. This shot for you. And Don't worry I, I recorded the verses at Slip and Slide. I think that's important. Slip and Slide. Holy yeah. moly guacamole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, Shout out Ted Lucas and all that. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then what had happened? So you laid, the, laid five verses or you wrote five verses? I, I, I laid five verses and okay. I wrote five verses. And I just took the best two right. and I sent them that. Okay. You know what and, I'm saying? And, so he can... What was that moment like? And, and sending that, man, he called me right back and was wow. just like, bro, I, like, I love it. Wow. I love it. He said, wow. man, I hear that dog. I hear that hunger mm -hmm. in you. Like, let's do something. We're going to have a meeting, boom, boom, boom. He had the office across the street from the radio station. Yeah, right. We linked up at that spot the next time, and we were sitting down talking about having a deal, man, and him wanting to sign me. Like, my guy at that particular time wanted it to be about dollars and deals. We wanted to get, like, he wanted to get a label situation. Right. But uh, at that time, he was only in, interested in signing me. So, right. um, right. So yeah, man. So that from there it was it was history, bro. Right. Yeah. God damn it. That's yeah, crazy, bro. man. That's a big yeah. time. Straight up. I got notes, god damn it. You know, I'm into this. I'm into oh shit. Yeah. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let me tell him. Okay. Okay. You got a lighter one? Okay, okay, hell yeah. Give me a lighter, god damn. Mm -hmm. Boris, look him over the lighter. So, boom. You get with Kyle. Mm-hmm. Hustle hard doesn't come out yet, right? No, what you cash flow comes out first. Cash right? flow comes out, yep. It's first time flying to New York. I uh, flew to New York. Uh, once we ended up figuring out a deal, it's my first time ever going to New York. We flew to New York to go see LA Reid with Def Jam. Yeah, he was with Def Jam. And he was with Def Jam at that time. So at this time I had cash flow. I had the stressing record that I recorded with Plies. Did he um, have Chapstick L.A. Reed? I feel like he was putting on Chapstick. Who that? L.A. Reed? <laughs> <laughs> was, he, was he putting on Chapstick? I just feel like it happened that time. Like, nah, he wasn't putting, he wasn't nah, putting he on no Chapstick. That's my man. Yeah. Every time I see him, he putting on Chapstick. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Stop yeah, it. Yeah. And, he put, and then he, be, he got the other shit, the lip balm. He like, like, come on, L.A. Reed. You yeah. got to stop with the pinky, you man. You got to relax. But he's a, he's a genius. He's, he's a, a genius. If he yeah. signed you, that means you ill. So, yeah, fly to New York. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Cause, oh, cause, yeah. cause you know there's a possibility he can fly, he can introduce you. Mm -hmm. You know, cause right now, they can look at your look, they can go on Instagram and say, oh, I like the way you look. But this is, 
If you're going to New York, this is to look at how you look in your face, to see how you perform, to see. So are you are you nervous, or do you do you even know this process is happening? And what's says, the pep talk before you get there? Mm. I'm beyond nervous, first of all, because yeah. I'm first of all I'm flying. It's yeah. my first time ever flying. It's my first oh, time. Bro, wow. every, it was an all. It was a first time for everything. First time flying. First time get, being in New York. Mm. First time. That gotta be nervous. You know, we had Mr. Childs at that time. First time having Ooh. Mr. Child in the office. Bro, I'm so nervous, bro. But the pep talk, right? This was like, this the illest shit about Khaled, right? Is that his level of like, the way he's able to motivate you. Yo, this LA read. Yo, 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 we gotta, yo, this LA read. Yo, you gotta, you gotta sell this. Like, make him feel like, yo, 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 no, 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 yo, 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 no, yo, we can't play. We can't play with this. Like, it's a chance to tell, like, it's not a game. Like, we gotta do. I can see comments. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like it's like, like, we the best. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's the energy. So, for me, that's all I need to hear him am. You with me. You affirm me. We in this together. Let's do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, as soon as I get in there with L.A. Reid, like, you know where I come from, like, I come from the hood, I come right. from Deerfield, like, right. down the street, the projects, we got the homies, so right. I need this, I ain't yeah. finna play with this, it's an right. opportunity for me. Yeah. So I spill it all, I give it all, I'm in there, nigga, emotional, everything, nigga, giving them that stress and verse with plies on it. Mm. I'm in there, nigga, going hard with that cash flow, you gonna feel me, right. you feel me, like, and he felt that. Right. And we, you know, for, for then, man, we were signing the deal, I stepped out the room, we was inking the deal, big Mr. That, that's Child. That's what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. He, what's that moment like when you step out the room? Because I, I, I get there got to be a moment when they talking to when you not there. Yeah, is is you what is, what's going through your mind at this time? The moment after I left the room, I felt fulfilled and I felt like yeah. I did that. Okay. I left it there. But like you got it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Or even if I didn't, well, like did I left it there. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, meaning, like I, I did my part. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. It's like as long as I show up and I do what I supposed right. to do, mm -hmm. however you choose, the whatever decision you make, mm -hmm. I'm all right with it. Salute, goddammit. You dig what I'm Salud, saying? Salute, Salud, my brother. Salute, my brother. Salud, yes, sir. Salute, goddammit. Yes, sir. Coño. What was the moment in the music industry when you realized this ain't all the crap? <clears throat> oh, yeah. What was that moment like for you? When it hit Oof. the realization that... When I hit that realization, bro, it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was scary, you know, because I think once I got to that realization that you know, I came into the game as a, as a young, you know, young buck. I was 18, 19 years old, yeah. knowing that I didn't acquire much about the business, right. knowing that I didn't ask to really see certain things, knowing that I was, um, I didn't have any, any insight about what budgeting was for me, knowing that I didn't have, you know, I was just a workhorse. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I think that was the thing because I didn't, yeah. once I started to put it together, I started to understand of like, man, I could be, I could be tangled into something that I have no idea mm -hmm. how to get myself out of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Because as you start to get older, right, you start to mature. And when you're young, you want the money. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's like, cool, I want to be able to uh, supply, you know, so, you know, like provide for my mother because my mother was struggling. You know what I'm saying? Like right. nobody around her couldn't really do anything. So it was like, for me, I felt like I needed to be the man to step up. So in my mind, this money is gonna help. You know, when you're young, you, this money is gonna help right. provide for my family, so you ain't thinking about what that contract or what business will look like later on until right. you get older. Right. And then but you start asking questions. <laughs> right. right, so I think it, that's when I started to see that, uh, you know, and then even with politics, I never really liked the politics shit in, in, in music, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, in the beginning, but once I learned it, I understood it and I respect it. Right. But, I, you know, when people, when we say we brothers and we do certain things, I took that to heart. It's that industry talk. talk. It's just That's a talk. But then I started to learn, like, oh shit. When it comes from then certain, that ain't really when real. it comes from certain When it comes industry. to certain, right. Everyone so, is not bullshit. Right. It, but That's everyone true. ain't real. Everybody ain't and real. And that's what's fucked up and about that's what, And when I, that was the, the toughest right. part, because I'm like, damn. But I thought this person, not mm -hmm. speaking to the people that I was close, oh, you but got, just you the fell for the brother shit you just said. I the fell for shit. it. Don't fall for that brother. I fell for shit. it. I was right. for that. Like, you feel shit. me? Like, oh no, 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 you my brother. We gonna da 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 da. But when I send, you want to try me? I'm like, damn. But I thought we were okay. Right. I get it. Right. But I, and I ain't know at that point. But you know, if I would have knew in advance, like I could have, I would have knew what would expect. I could have managed my expectations. Um, but that ain't happened. So it's just seeing little shit like that. I'm just like. And just ideas that people will have, you know what right. I mean? It just kind of just turned me weird. I'm just like, this ain't real logical. This ain't even like, right. I'm like, what niggas doing in this shit? Like, y'all ain't trying to become better people. Why we gotta, right. like, am, am I just trapped in being this one person? And 
I gotta be this person my entire career. They want you to evolve and shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. I can't evolve and grow up and be. No, no, that's why when artists, a lot of times, I mean, you gotta, to tell you the truth, you got it better than a, a, than a lot of people who caught a raw deal or caught or, or anything or who, you know, had to leave a, a very established label because they wanted to go on their own. A lot of people, what they would do is, they'll become this artist. And they'll be, and, and the artist, if you complain about your rights and you're an artist, you're problematic. Right. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, Norm. That's fucked up that, like, you know what, I'm glad you put me on. I'm glad that you put me in the place. I'm glad that this label helped me out. But look, this part ain't right. Can we just correct that? Right. Most people would say, no. Are you a millionaire? Can you pull up in a Range Rover? Can you pull up in a Maybach? Can you pull up in such and such? Why you Why you need to correct something that you're already good at? And it's like because I don't want to be perfect, but I want my shit to be right. Mm -hmm. right. But if you do that, then you're you're known as a problematic artist. Like as you were leaving the uh, We the Best, did, did, was you receiving those type of things? Like was people spreading rumors like J ones or something, telling people don't fuck with Ace Hood or you know he's people. And how were was they it, saying? I wasn't leaving though. What did you were I'm leaving? Sorry, Jay, was just to you. We I the best. Talking about Jay, you know, that's my so, best. So breaking the contract. Well, 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 that was the beginning. Well, well, uh, well he was around. We so the best. Was. Dev Jam happened in the beginning. Right. Uh, at some point, we moved from Dev Jam. Dev Jam was only my first two projects. Okay. Right. And then we yeah, ended up moving. So you fulfilled those projects. I fulfilled those projects. Got finished with them. Because at one point, I'm stopping you. Let me go right back to this. Yep. Remember that question. Remember what the question was. What was it? Don't worry, we good. Uh, but remember, please, because I felt like you were the face of the We the Best Def Jam thing. Like, did you feel like you were the face of that time? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. I did feel like that. Okay. I always felt like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to get back to that now. What yeah. was the other question, goddamn? What was yeah. I saying? No, what you were saying. Yeah, well, and then he was. Yeah, he was saying he fulfilled the Def oh, Jam project. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when was it that the breakup happens? At what point in the business dealings? Oh, yeah. Do you have, have another? Cash is money. another? Is it cash money at that point? It, we, we were under cash money. Right. Uh huh. So you so, breaking contract with so, two people with two right. entities? So this is how it happened. So mm -hmm. originally I started with Def Jam, mm -hmm. and then after Def Jam with the first two albums, I ended up moving. Um, we ended up going to uh, Universal, which was cash money, right? right? Universal cash money. Yeah. Uh, cash money, Bugatti, and all that other stuff, right? right. Um, then issues started to stir up with Cash Money, Universal. You remember that when they had the issues and just things were just happening. And when you caught in the melee, like right, I'm right. caught in the melee. We all, you know, right. even with the label. So it's like, you know, people trying to just keep, you know, keep what they can keep type of thing. So you know, bro wanted to make his own decision to kind of do his own thing. Like you know, he wanted to be his own independent field, so he wanted to kind of separate you say, from the vibe. You're talking about Cali. Yeah, yeah, Cali right. wanted to separate from the universal music and kind of do something different. Right. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to be more independent. All done? No. Okay, all right, cool. So and, is that leaving you guys or the label, all the artists left behind by doing that? Well, he wanted to branch off, so yes, it would be like, you know, handling this business in this way and then taking that, you know, your imprint and making it independent. And then we were under... Uh, Red, Sony Red. Sony wow. Red, distribution, right. Sony Red is when the so issue yeah, started what, to, what, started what to stir best. up. Okay. Because I think, like you said, there was a certain level, I was invested in the We The Best, right? right. I felt like me and bruh created that together. Right. If I'm you being honest. You wore the honest, brand on your sleeve. Right. I wore the brand on right. my sleeve. If you right. thought about We The Best, you thought about, yeah. you right. thought about Ace. I agree with you. You thought about Khaled. Mm -hmm. Facts, it wasn't one without the other. Right. It's just what it was, you feel me? Um, so I felt like... That was like Dame and Jay at one point. That's how I felt. Okay. And I thought, you know, I, I thought that. that we were just there. And we, you know what I'm saying? That. So for me, I didn't, like, I didn't like... Right. right. I didn't like the fact that the decision was made without me. I didn't like a, that the fact that the decision was made to part ways from our distribution and me not know about it. And you decide solely to say, we're going to take this one imprint and mm -hmm. go over here and I'm going to do this. Granted, you know, rightfully, rightfully what so... What distribution was you... Um, Mad that you was leaving Universal. Just because we, we were we were we were with Universal, going from Universal to Terrible. something that's more independent, which you know, okay. which, which was red, the Sony right? Red situation. Sony Red, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It was just the principle for me was the fact that I felt like we created this thing together that now we should make all the decisions, but this was a decision that I felt like I thought we were brothers enough that you would come to me about this decision type of mm. thing in some way. You know what I mean? And, and maybe he feel wrong that, or, or don't feel the same way that I, that I could even be in a position to say that. But I felt like we built this, I contribute, I, you know what I mean? I rep that shit, it's on my skin. I did, you know what I mean? I was out here, people knew that. So for me, 
the, the decision to take it from one thing to another was an issue for me. You know, because then I started to understand that my dis it's not about my decision. You and know, you had, and you had, and, and I'm sorry to cut you off. You had no, like he didn't even call you and say, yo, listen. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. So this, so once he made the decision, it was like final with Sony Red and it was happening. Like that's when the conversation actually happened. You know what I'm saying? With us. And I felt blown away because I felt like I, I was unprepared for it. There's ideas and there's things that I wanted to do that I felt like I needed uh, a major, a, a major backing to do so. Right. You know, and I just think like the decision, even though for him, yes, it's your brand at the That's end of the day. That's what I was going to say. To play the advocate, like, right. he, maybe he felt like, well, it's my brand. I don't have I created to consult, it, right. but I feel on your end, it's like it's impacting your career regardless. Uh, I, 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 be, be, only, only, because, that, okay. only because, right. only because, only because, the moment this imprint started, which means that the moment you knew about it, right. Ace Hood was signed to it. Right. And it, don't, and, and it existed at that so point, I think. You felt like it was created around you? Not around me. Oh, okay. No, I don't feel like it was created. I feel like I was the first representation of, of that right. brand, and, of and what right, it would right, be. Right, and I'll tell you the misunderstanding right there, right? Like when you sign an artist, it's like, a sign, it's like signing a baby, right? Mm -hmm. And it's your baby. That's why they say, that's my baby, like sometimes, right? Yeah. But as the artist grows, sometimes you still give the artist the information, you still give them a bit porridge. But you're not realizing that artists got teeth now. Right. And the artist actually want, doesn't want porridge no more, doesn't want baby food. Doesn't so want to be And it deserves to say, you know what? You got, we, we eating chicken now. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. But why are we eating chicken? Okay, and why do you want to eat vegetables? Why are you vegetables? changing my diet? Why? Right. And, right. And, that's, and that's just what it is. I, I understand his position because Absolutely. it's his company. And, and, and a, I understand that you, ain't, you wasn't eating porridge no more. Right. right. It was right. your turn, there's to, a turn. To, to at least know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I get where you're coming from too. Like I'm an artist and a CEO. But there's so a term that, 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 that really goes with what you're saying. You were the flagship artist. There you go. Right, right. Yeah. Of, of right. We the Best. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and, and, and I'm not saying that I, I wanted to know all the ins and outs of his business or anything. I just, think that, but your I just think that anything that affects me, right. I should right. be in part, I should be you right. know, within that conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just think that's right. And right. I think that's fair. Right. Not even about being right, I just Not think fair. that's fair. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're gonna decide to take that, hey yo, so I'm just deciding to, uh, yo, I'm, I'm deciding to take, uh, I know we were with uh, Blah, but we gonna move over and you know what I'm saying? That way we're in it together. Right, and that way it doesn't feel like I'm excluded in that you can you solely can make these decisions. Now, who am I? What does that say about me if you can just decide anytime you you want to take this thing and do what you want with it? Right, that means right. that I'm supposed to follow behind and do what you want with it too? Right. Right? But one million percent when you're on Miami Heat, you can get traded to the Knicks tomorrow. Right. And you won't have no motherfucking decision on that neither. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That is real. So, yeah, so you, he just you, wanted the courtesy is what he wanted. Yeah. The courtesy. Yeah. Uh -huh. But this is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you don't get that courtesy. No, no, Sometimes hey, hey, you hey, wake hey, up in Toronto and, and, Nora, and Drake is your know, roommate. You know, so crazy. You're like, what the hell? Hey, hey, G shit. Hey, 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 hey. now official is hey. like this. You play for the Raptors now. <laughs> right. You're like, woly moly guacamole. Yeah. The check is still there. So, but that's what he's probably looking at. I'm, I'm just being devil's advocate. Right. He's yeah, probably yeah. looking like, yo, hey, shit, check is still going to be there. Everything's mm -hmm. still. We're just hey, going to hey, do it on a different level. And either way, how I am and how I'm built, I respect the decision. The decision either way. Wow. Right. Either way, I respected it because at the end of the day, I understand that it's about it's your thing. It's what you want to do with it. I just wanted that. It ain't like I'm gonna hate you. I just wanted to have that input of just. But since I didn't get it, it's still cool. It's nothing, whatever. But right. it just raised a, a question in my mind of like, well, well, maybe you should kind of like start focusing on the things that you would really want, Ace. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and, and the things that you really want to create and really want to bring forth, right? Mm -hmm. Because if someone else is doing it, like, you know, we all want to do it. We all want to create and bring a certain level of energy and inspiration and motivation into the world, into the minds and the hearts of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course. So it, it raised that opportunity in my mind of like, okay. Like, you know, and I respect that because, you know, I'm always, if I lay my bed, I'm gonna lay in it peacefully. You know, if I made that bed, right, I right. ain't tripping. Real you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just being a real one, you now, know? Now I'm bouncing around because I'm coming back to this nah, no situation. No problem, my brother. This is real. I love but, this show, um, bro. Yeah, but um, how much bitches you was fucking on cash money? Because, <laughs> like, y'all was like the number one lady at the time. Just being real. Like, I'm sure the hit back to be sessions was crazy. I'm sure you was at least finger popping everything in the building. Like, hey, come here, bitch. Come on, how many. How, like, how crazy was it? Like, you know what? Your groupie days. My my, my groupie days was uh, it was it was exciting. Mm. 
it was exciting. It was very glad was, for you to say. You know what I'm saying? It was exciting. A lot of us, after, now that we're not groupies no more, because we groupie too. Like, right, let's right, be clear. Right. We're not only smashing groupies. We it was, was groupie groupies. too. Yes. So a lot of us act like, oh, you know, the, you know, the, I was young. Like, nah, nigga, that was exciting. Come on, nigga, we had a great time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like that, man. It was exciting and fun. Okay, yeah, I, I respect that, goddamn it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, th- them days, them shit, it was amazing. Mm. <laughs> it was amazing, bro. I loved every minute of it because, you know, there's lessons and all of that. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. So, you know, I, I, I had to I, I had you to running through the studio with your shirt off. <laughs> shred it up, bro. Yeah. No kids, he's straight. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we gonna have them all in the studio. We gonna pack them in. We gonna vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thing about me, I've always been a man of respect. I've always treated women with the utmost mm. respect. That's how I move. Yeah, and the good. people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just period. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, even before this, like, you know, I was never on no wow, wow, wildness, but I was the type of person that I like what I like, which means that if I have, like, some women that I'm involved with or whatever, it's like a few pieces that's outstanding and we take trips and we do fly shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then like, you know what I'm saying? And I rock with that. I'm mm-hmm. the type I can rock with that for a year, two years. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's just my little thing. You know what I mean? My little shorty or whatever. And then I got my other little shorty like type of thing. <laughs> so that was like my feel. Mm-hmm. I got beautiful pieces. That's how I am, detail. Beautiful pieces and Is we gonna Molly work like that. Them, Molly, Molly involved. No Molly involved. No, you know what? I ain't even done Molly. Right. I ain't never do Molly, bro. Missing some shit. I heard. I heard, bro. I heard about the Molly conversations and all that. I mean, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Yeah, he been, I been nah, done nah, Molly in a long time. Nah. But in a long time. Nah. It sounds like you just did it right now. I'm trying to, man. I'm just looking for it. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm married like a motherfucker. Yeah. Me too, bro. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, We're going to get to that later. We're going to get to that later. Mm-hmm. But um, you never, the experience, nothing just this weed. You did weed, something else. Some pills. Okay. What um, pills? Percocet? Did some, Percocet. Pop, did some Percocet before. I did some uh, some Adderall. Um, Man, this Adderall, that's what the white uh, kids use to study, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, what the fuck Adderall do for black people? You know, just super focused <laughs> shit. Super you focused You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, And it's just like, so say, you know, you done had a long day or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And right. like, you might want to go catch a vibe somewhere. You might want to do something or you might want to be involved in something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like you have a, you go, you go half of a 30 and you know, you know, you smoke you one, sip you a little, pop you a little shot. Like it's active. You like, man, what's happening? Yeah. What's up? Man, what we doing? What we at? Like what we doing? Like a limitless pill? Like, like you can see shit? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. You gonna make me want to do Adderall? Yeah, come on, man. I'm pulling the shit out of this, man. Yeah, and you know can't say no to drugs. What camera? Can't yeah, say no to yeah, drugs. Can't say no to drugs. <laughs> right. The less this would be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, um, really, I've never had that. Mm-hmm. And I would just say about the drug thing, just don't abuse it. The moment right. you abuse it, it abuses you. Wow. Period. That's what I believe in. Like, right. you know, I ain't saying don't do nothing. Just don't abuse it. Right. right. Period. That's it, dog. Because you would do, you like a holistic nigga right now. Like, you, like, Real you shit. be meditating and all that Real type shit. of shit. Like, Buddhist type shit. Real shit. Yeah, that's hard, man. That's basically Real shit. Shit. But I feel like you always been into that. I feel like you always been like a spiritual person. Like, I feel like this yeah. is nothing new. Like, I feel like. You, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? You, you had sage when you were 17. <laughs> but I grew up in the church. You know what I'm saying? My mama brought me up in the church. So we okay. were Christianity and all of that. Oh, wow. I was always, I'm always a man of faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so I, I've always leaned on my faith. And anytime things get mm-hmm. uncertain for me, mm-hmm. that has always brought me clarity. So um, I, I trust in that. And from that, in terms of, from that Christianity, that spiraled into like my spirituality. And, right. and, and you know, that ties in also with my wife and my lifestyle and stuff. So. And just like my fitness, my health shit too. Right. Just exploring all of that mm-hmm. is what really took me there. Mm-hmm. So. Has there ever been a time where your faith wasn't there? I'm talking about now, I'm not talking about in life. Yeah. I'm talking about in the music business because a lot of people don't understand how hard it is in this music business. This is, this is like, you know, mm-hmm. this is hard. You know what I'm saying? You ever, ever, ever like, like, was like, man, this is it for me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. yeah. I think like, uh, I felt like that after my second album. Like, shit got real for me at that time. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, man, like, I don't know. Cause I was still new before to the game. Before you platinum single, before we Before got all of that. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. That, that was, I was really that. me just like, I'm really trying to figure it out. I'm taking care of my family. Right. Living in a condo space, man. Trying to pay my bills and shit. And I, you know, and at that point, like, Cali on the road and they doing their thing. And it's kind of like, you got to make a hit. You got to do something to, uh-huh. you know, impress me. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was that type of energy. So I just didn't know whether or not I could. So you saying, all right, because I think you took, I think you describing hustle hard. Now I think this is where we going. Right, right. So you're saying that at that time, that's what fully inspired that record was 
Because that was a low point in your life prior mm -hmm. to that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you felt you were getting and, like, and left behind just, in a sense? And it wasn't just that, uh, I feel like, it wasn't just that time neither, too. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, it was also even, I feel like, the time of uh, separating, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Of trying to think to myself of, like, you know, what will it look like being independent, you know? And, and, and if I could really rise to the occasion of being an independent artist. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was definitely times that will pop in of moments that I would be like, damn, bro, like, oh, um, you know, because it, 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 it's difficult, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So, but yes, to go to, 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 to jump back, like, yeah, that was the hustle hard time. Let me just tell you something. I looked at uh, YouTube comments, <clears throat> the hustle hard video. They blamed at least 300 artists for stealing your flow. Mm. Like, I'm talking about. There's even UK dudes on there saying, man, everyone in America sound like Ace Hood. I'm like, how the hell do they know? You, you could write that accent? That's a, great, that's a terrible accent. Tim Westwood, Tim Westwood and every man in America, every rude man from London. Shout out to our Respect. UK people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'm sorry, that accent was terrible. But like, I really looked at that and it brought me to a Tim Westwood interview with, with you. And it just kept going. Mm -hmm. of people saying, how so hard like, for lack of a better phrase right now, lack of a better term, is like the Migos flow. Like, how everyone sounds like the Migos, and everyone... I didn't realize that that's what everyone was saying about you with Hustle Hard. Mm. I didn't realize that. Yeah. I'm sure you yeah, noticed it. Yeah. Because I seen the interview, he was like, yep, they, they're all but my shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, real shit? Real <laughs> yeah. shit. That, that's, the, that's the honest truth, bro. Right. I'm being honest. Uh... You know, that it's, it's flattering, to be honest. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Uh, but I, it, I think I was so in my zone at that time that I, I didn't always fully realize, but people from the outside would always come up to me, yo, bro, this, bro, this person sound like you. Yo, why they doing that? Right. That jump flow and that. Right. Like, that's your flow. Right. But to, to, if we being honest, bro, first of all, nothing new around the sun, bro. Right. Nothing new on this earth, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, we all inspired by somebody. Right. You know, so uh, I never took ownership of a flow. Right. It but just you, didn't make sense to, to me. But you had to pay attention when they heard the fans. But saying. did I hear, um, did I inspire a generation? For right. sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. with that flow and then with that cadence on Hustle Hard, I knew I did because I knew before, and this is, this is no lie, when I was, before I even wrote the record, bro, I told myself when I heard just the instrumental, I said, if I can, if I can create a flow that's different on here, it's going to change the game. I swear to God, and I went in the studio and I had that hustle. So you went in the booth hustle. with that intention? Like, yeah. I, I went in the booth with that intention. To change the game, not meaning the, the game is going to change copying you. You didn't know that part. I knew, knew that, I knew that the flow was new to, to uh -huh. what was out because I, would always, I was always that type of artist. I would always uh -huh. want to recreate myself, which is why every time you would hear a new Ace Hood record, you would always be like, this nigga getting better. How that verse go? That's how that go. How That's that, that uh, on, on. Uh, same, it's different verse. Same old shit. Uh, just a different day. Uh, out here trying to get it. And, and, and my, my daughter had just got hustle. here. So all hustle. of this is real. Hustle. Hustle, 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 yeah, okay, man. okay. Oh, yeah. you mean you connected to the Bluetooth, dude? Yeah. yeah, take that yeah, from the man, top, man. Come on, man. Up that. We gonna, we gonna pay you, we gonna pay them down to use this record, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the original flow. That's the original flow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> right. Get your drink, sir. Oh. Get your drink, sir. Oh. I can see everybody bitch this shit. I respect that. <laughs> everybody. Yo, that is that. It, you know, listening to it now, and I listen to it on the way it here. It still sounds great, by the way. It still sounds great, by yeah. the way. That's, that's, that's one you. man. Thank but you. it sounds... No. 
it almost makes you seem like the normal guy. Mm. Like, it almost makes you seem like you blended in. Mm-hmm. Like, if I didn't look at the comments and go do the research and all that, like, that's probably something that would, would try to erase you in history. Right. I mean, this is actually... The, this is actually, the first of. Yes! This is crazy! Right. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Some, you, some yeah. would even argue that the whole, like... I mean, you know, that's that's tedious. Nah, but, man, cause I know you I'm humble, man, that. but let's take you another shot and let's get on this whole <laughs> yeah. shit. Let's get on this, like, claim your <laughs> shit. <laughs> claim your <laughs> shit. Claim your <laughs> shit, bro. We're going to take another shot just in case we blame it on the alcohol, man. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> TP ain't got a record about it. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We got drunk facts here. Don't worry about it. Drunk facts. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Nah, nah, that Oh shit! We don't. <laughs> Since COVID, yeah. my brother, China, yeah, my brother, that's like the homie. We replaced it with marijuana. You want some marijuana? Yeah, that's yeah, marijuana. I don't suggest it though. Let me see what that's about. Let me see what that's about. Yeah, see what that's about. It, 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 it is kind of. What we're trying to do is just this is a uh, what we call Tiger Bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To... COVID, you know, yeah, comes from China. Fuck that up. It comes from China. I'm fucking the bomb though. Just get to me straight. Okay, all right. hold on. Let's take this shot. Hold on, let's get this shot. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, goddamn. Yes, sir. We gonna make you claim your flow today. Cheers. Y'all dropping shit over there? Sound like somebody fell pretty hard. I apologize. We got no insurance. <laughs> but um, my brother. But yeah, so I know you say you flattered, but we were, we were, and you don't have to name the artist. Mm. You know, I came up with the. I was my flow. Mm. Think the y'all is taking the y'all. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> the y'all. 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 I'm a real nigga, so I think that it's only to keep it honest <clears throat> because it was only us, really us two at that time. Like, really the me and Meek situation. Meek, that's what everyone like, says. You know what I'm saying? It, just to be I'm, honest, I'm, like, I'm just to address it and face that, like, uh, it, it was a lot of people were saying that in comparison because of the flow that Meek went off and used. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so so that's what people was always trying to mm-hmm. rally to. But Meek, my man, I got nothing but love for right, Meek. And you you said you flattered. Like, yeah, right, and right. I was flattered. And not only that, like, you know, that's, that's, I, I don't know. I just like the idea of just uh, contributing. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's right. hip-hop, bro. I done mm-hmm. seen a lot of amazing shit, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, to you be a part to of it, to be in it, bro, right. and it just to contribute something, mm-hmm. uh, that shit matter. Mm-hmm. It matters, bro. Straight up. That's beautiful, man. That's, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you said that, because... That was the one name that kept coming up in the comments. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, meet me. Yeah. Meek. And I never addressed that in the past. Wow. You know what I mean? I wow. think I, I tiptoed around that, you know what I mean? Right. For for whatever reasons. Um, but I guess because I had love for bro and I ain't, right. I, you know what I mean? I just didn't never want to take me like outside. Love for him now. And I still, yeah, exactly, yeah. like, and still got so much love for bro. Right. Um, and yeah, it's just, I just ain't never want nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that won't ever come between us and no shit. Right. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I see how people play games like that and try to uh, adopt shit and create right. false you, issues you, you and shit. If you would have said that, then he could have took it personal and, and then, it could have like, Exactly, issue. exactly. I, I'm going to tell you what But you, Meek always, you know, that's what I love about Meek is Meek, in, in the beginning, was always a fan and Meek would always right. big me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And that's the thing that I always appreciate about bro. You did, dumb, he always dumb, showed dumb, love. Nah, dumb, dumb mm-hmm. deal. But I'm going to tell you a, a, a problem that you suffer from, man. I'm not a psychiatrist, but my man Pharrell sat in the same chair as you, right? Uh, like a couple weeks ago, right? Not last even, week. Like, last week. Sat in the same chair as you, and y'all suffer from too much humbleness. Mm. I, I believe that in some cases. Humility. Like, some. Like, it's too much humility, and it's like, Buster Rhymes told me this a long time ago. Buster Rhymes like, what the fuck you so humble for? I'm like, Cause, like that's who I am. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but it's at times, when it's not time to be humble, you still there. And I never knew what he talked about, and I feel like that's, I feel like, for Pharrell something's wrong, man. Pharrell couldn't even answer uh, Quick Time or Slide. <laughs> like, and this is, a, this is, a, this is a, a segment where we just give you two answers. He just kept saying, both, both, because he's trying to be too politically correct. And right. sometimes you can't be too, be, too, be too politically correct. Because if you're being too politically correct, then you say that all lives matter. And we know that all lives matter. But for right now, black that lives matter. motherfucking matter. So this is the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can't, 
be too That's a good example, right? You know what I'm saying? You just I, can't yeah. be. So that's I, real. I mean, that's real, real shit. To you know what I'm yeah, saying? Thank you. For I, that. I would like, I would like you to know that because, like, when I look, like they're like you're the one of the most underrated, underappreciated, dope MCs. Like that's what I'm, I'm looking at. This is my job. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And there's people that love you. Like there's a lyricist people. And you gotta claim them back, bro. You gotta let That's the motherfuckers know I'm out here, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm yeah. out here. That's real. I'm out here. Yeah. I'm out here because it's not, it's not. Like I, I went and watched your interviews, and I look, and there's not one person that can say Ace Hood is not a dope MC. Mm-hmm. I, I searched for it. I looked mm-hmm. for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so you think that you was ever? Uh, uh, a success from your own success. What I mean is, like, you're almost battling yourself. Like, you got a single that went platinum. Right. Like, it, there's nothing. You can go back on a major right now. There's nothing that the impact that Bugatti had, mm-hmm. and at the time that was like, like we were talking about T Pain earlier, and mm-hmm. God bless, because I don't want T Pain to take this in any way, shape, form, or fashion. But Future, when Future got lit, he could have yeah. said. Finger, fingernails, 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 it was like surreal, bro. Mm. First of all, Future did that shit in like 15 minutes. Y'all were in the studio together? Yeah. And you know, Khaled, master motivator. You know what I mean? Like he in he gave there- that speech? He gave a speech. Speech? He give you the speech, it's over. It don't matter right. who you right. are. Yeah. If he give you the speech, like right. you, gonna, you finna get in that bag. Right. And I love that because like, that that made me stick to always a standard right. of just you gotta be. If not, we rewriting. Like, you know what I'm saying? If when niggas don't this, feel you like you know what this moment means. I know what that moment means. You mean. heard the beat. You had mm-hmm. your rhymes already, or no? You no no no. I didn't have my rhymes already. So I walk in. It's just never the heard the beat before. Who produced, I didn't, I didn't, who produced I didn't that beat? It. Who produced it? Uh, Mike Will. Okay. Mike Will made it. So you walk into the be- hearing the beat for the first time. I walk into hearing the beat for the first time. Take it from there. Let's go. Wow. Yo, I'm at the <laughs> studio. Pull up. Yo. And I know them calls, yo. I'm at the studio, where you at? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just know, movie. I'll be there in a minute. He doesn't say future's there. Yeah. He does yo, say I got, future. I got there. super in the, yo, I got, okay. I'll be there, okay. So you, know, you, you do know right, future's I didn't know there. He was, okay. I didn't know he was there, mm-hmm. cool. You boom. met future before or no? Yeah, yeah I okay. met future before, right, yeah. Cool, cool. You one of those so, niggas, you know yeah. everybody. <laughs> right, so me and future, so uh, boom, walk in the studio. Future now, boom, we chop it up, boom, boom, boom. Me and Khaled, that we chop it up. So he in there, he don't even play the music yet. And then he give me the speech of all speeches. Like, yo, this going to be the biggest record ever. This shit going to be number one. Mm. This shit going to be, it don't got no lyrics on it. No lyrics. Mm. I, I, I think that shit is powerful in terms of manifestation. That's why I like, you yeah, feel me? Because that Jackson shit real, shit bro. Just, yeah, that yeah. shit can give you goosebumps. You and feel me? DJ, the beats are either the like, foundation. You feel me? Like, and to go. know it. Like, right. I know it. All right. Right. Nothing's happened yet, I know it. Right. 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 You feel me? So in my mind, I'm just like, all right, play the beat. That shit, come on. I'm just like, oh, this shit, this, that. I already knew what I was going to do. I know I'm going to come on there and I'm going to deliver. He give me the talk like, yo, this got to be, you got to write that. You got to talk that. And your future, I need that. I need nothing but that legendary. I need that anthem. I need that big. I need that movie. I need that. I need that number one. I need that. This is what we going to, you feel me? Only, like, only people who know this is hip hop dudes and baseball players. That's it. We, <laughs> we do that, that's out the park. That's out the park, that's, baby. That's to the audience. Yeah. That's, that's to the audience. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Exactly. Like, exactly. It's that, Go you feel ahead. me? So we, boom. <laughs> So after that, like, Future, uh, he, 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 you know, he played a beat, run it back, play it again, boom, play it again. He said, all right, ready. Bro walk in the booth, and he's just tampering with the shit, bro. Eight seconds of that bitch come on. I come looking for you with patience. I come looking, hold on, hold on, run me back. <laughs> and then he did it again. He was like, and then Kyle was like, yo, stop it. It's like, yo, that's it. 
That's it, yo, keep that right there. Don't stop, like, you know. So we move forward, boom, okay, cool. So Future in there, he doing his shit. All right, I got you. He did that shit, bro, and it was like perfect. Hmm. It was perfect, bro. He did it. I woke up in a new book. And that shit, bro, and it was, after that, it was just like, say less. You don't even need to say none. And bro just came out literally in about 15 minutes and just was like, yeah, that be hard. Mm. Yeah, that shit, that gonna go. Now, I'm gonna keep it real. Went to Scott Storch house. I seen the Bugatti. Mm-hmm. Birdman lived in my building. I never knew what the fuck a Bugatti was <laughs> until the record came. Right. I Nobody just thought did. that was a coupe. I thought it was an Audi souped up. Bro, we ain't think it all the way through, bro. I didn't think it all the way through. Bro, I didn't think that, bro. They kept telling me it's just two million dollars. I'm like, oh, they bro. got an uh, L Audi. The I world know. knew about Bugatti right. when the Bugatti record hit. Right. Right. I'm, I went to everywhere. I travel around the world. Nobody knew. Wow. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Nobody knew what and the I'm fuck around Bugatti was. I live like, in know? the same building, and I didn't really technically know that that was a two million dollar car. In my mind, I'm like, if I would have knew, we would have reached out to Bugatti <laughs> or something. <laughs> On some real shit, bro. Yeah, People bought on, more Bugatti because what are you of the fucking say? Bugatti. You trying to say you would have reached out to Bugatti prior to you dropping the record? Prior or after like, you thinking about it. today that and it's like, yeah, yeah, bro, or something yeah, because like, yeah. so, bro. People went out and bought more Bugattis. Right. Once people, right. once people started to get familiar with the thing, right. you go yeah. out and buy more of them. Right. And people start, you started seeing them, right? Oh, this yeah. person, that person, like everybody started. Yeah. Why you think it just happened? It became a thing, exactly. And like you know what I'm saying? That's another thing of like. I'm just happy to be a part of the conversation, man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, so what did you think? Like, cause like when he start, he start with that. I woke up with a new Bugatti. I lost think? my mind when he did that okay. shit because okay. he I, it, I ain't expected. Right. Because it was it was totally left from what the song was. Right. He come in, I come well, looking for you. Hey, right. you coming? Come on, play it. I say smoking on your You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it, crazy. Ready for you now. You can pour another shot, guys. Let's go. Get a shot. And a drink. I'm with you, baby. I'm drinking in the shot. I've never seen, like, I, I went to a club so we live one time. One time? No, it's just so one time. One of the time. That's my favorite club. So we live, this, this, yeah. Yeah. That might tell you yeah. what type of character this I am. Like a party party that was my favorite club. Everybody was just live. I was like, ah, right, whatever. So we live, baby. So we live. <laughs> <laughs> they might tell you, let you know what type of nigga I am. But hey, one day, one day I go to Soap We Live, one of my homies, you know. Hey, really, guys. Hey, guys. He asked me for, like, five hundred bucks. I said, no problem. High five. I gave it to him. Oh. Then Jay Z song come on. He be like, "What's fifty grand to a nigga like me? Keep please mind me." Was he in this room? You gotta relax. <laughs> Was you seeing like people like that with the Bugatti? Like, I got a Bugatti. Like coming up to you, I got a Bugatti. Like, people, oh yeah, good really. But some of these guys really did have them. Of course. Bro, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, oh, some of them did have them. Yeah, they did Holy have them. Holy moly, Guacamole. Like, a lot of them obviously didn't, but, like, you know, man, I had sheiks coming up to me. Oh, yeah, I have Bugatti, playing. I got boo doo doo, like, I put your song, I got yeah, Bugatti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunch of Bugatti. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, or just people who just, you know what I mean? Like, I love that record. It makes me feel so empowered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and the idea, so, and I love that record, man, because, like, I felt like my homies, I felt like the Zoes, my homies, them niggas gonna be proud of that shit right. too. I gone looking for you with right. I'm like, it's hot, cause yeah. it's really like it, you know, it's really real oh, like that. So, right. uh, I don't know, I just I just love that. Right. Um, forget what I was gonna say, goddamn. And that shit just hit crazy in the club. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. What? But yeah, oh, the idea behind the Bugatti of waking up in the Bugatti, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Like. Uh, because I didn't know that's a two million dollar, right? Well, million dollar, right. Yeah, work, but it's work, like, work. you know, it was just whatever was that thing that you felt like you worked hard for. Right. And to me, mm. the Bugatti represented that at that particular time. It's just that thing that I hope to have, that right. hit. Like you know, it's like thing. that gift, that thing, you know right. what I'm saying? So that just, that was like that, mm. that staff in the ground for me, you know what right. I'm saying? And like, 
it could be anything. It could be that new whip or that new crib or that new job that you got. Like, so that's how, that was my perspective and the idea behind waking up in the Bugatti. It's like, shit, if I wake up in that new house that I love, that I bought, like, I'm gonna feel that same way. You got legendary mixtapes. Dig that. You got legendary uh, albums, but those two songs, those legendary right there, I don't think those never gonna die. No, like, no, it's no. It's gonna be a, a no. barbecue in 2029. Grandmother's gonna be like, I woke up in that new Bugatti. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's one of those records. Hustle hard. <laughs> yeah. Hustle, hustle, hustle hard. I don't think those records gonna ever, no. ever, ever, ever Never, die. Never, bro. Never. You, you, how, how does it feel to have, like, most people can't ever have one. Most people, people can't ever have none. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're considered legends. Right. But you go in the club, their music will never play. Yeah. Like, how does it feel to have one? Shit, it feel good, bro. Mm-hmm. That shit, it, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing, bro. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to have a voice, a platform to, like, right. to speak to people, dog. So I just, uh, that shit is just beautiful. And we got more. It ain't just those, you know? Yeah. We got top 10, top five yeah, records, you know what I mean? We got Chris Brown. We got body to body, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, we got uh, We Out Here with me and Wayne, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, so it's, um, we, we just got a lot of great records, and I'm and that, just. That's what I'm trying to say. You, you're, like, almost, uh, 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 um, Failure to your own success because what they what they what, reason why other people won't compare mm-hmm. and those records is because those two were so impactful. Mm-hmm. It's just like never like uh, like where do you go from there? It's like like I, I got super thug. What 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 what? And I got homeboy. I can't. I don't matter what. I can do whatever. I was not gonna top though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I can make a record right now, fifty times better than that. There's fucking twenty fans from twenty years ago that said it ain't better than nothing. It ain't better than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you got to deal with that. Like, well, especially with your independent. Well, no. Yes okay. and no. Okay. So the thing about that, which is very interesting, is that I got records now as an independent artist that people react to bigger than Bugatti on my sets. Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? And we talking about huge crowds, you know? Right. So I don't really believe in that notion. You know, I think, I think, because uh, people like to think just because it may not be on a, or they may not hear it on the radio or anything like right. that, that it might not be having steam or it might not be doing its thing. I've been in my section in the world and in, in, in my world, like creating real magic. You know what I'm saying? So how are you gauging it? Through the streams? Uh, I'm gauging it through the, through the streams, through the reactions, yeah. through the bookings. You know what I'm saying? Right. Through uh, just the interest uh, in, in terms of things that I'm involved in. Like, you know, it's because of these records that's, that's uh, really moving to people and stuff like that. You know, so for me, it's like, yeah, on one end of the spectrum, it's like, People can want, the people do want like those older people. Like, cause me, I've understood that I'm no longer who I used to be, and I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. I've made peace with that. You know, I'm, I'm becoming, I'm a man now. I'm not just, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm much more a man. I'm a, I'm, I'm a father, I'm a mature. husband, boom, boom, boom. You dig right, what I'm saying? Right. So, um, I understand that there's gonna be people that appreciate that, that person. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, and they gonna be, and that's cool. Yeah. But also, like, there's gonna also be people that appreciate that new being and that new person. So that's what's happening now. Like, you got them people that might want to hear those records and think like, oh. But then there's records that I could perform, like a wee ball that I got or something like that. Like these are pop, like records that I just put real shit on. Yeah. You know, and I perform and them shits do well. Let me ask you, who's a who's an artist that wanted to work with you in your highlight? That you never, you never thought in life. When you, it was the highlight, you said, I can get it. You know, who, 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 who was somebody that you was like, wow. I that I was surprised that I worked with? Yeah. Or that wanted, wanted to work with you. Or, or you like, maybe, maybe you didn't work with them. The highlight, you yeah. wow. You almost, like, hmm. I made it. Or oh, this is just an honor. That's a good question. I mean, for me, if I'm being honest, um, working with Wayne was crazy. I respect that. Like, you yeah, feel me? Yeah. Working with Wayne was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Where Mike come from? Tell me, tell, me, tell me what kind of weed this is. This shit got me high as hell. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Gas truck. I'm blowing it up. I'm like, Mike move out here in the bathroom, but Wayne, let's go to the Wayne. Bro, Wayne, bro. Wayne just yeah. the illest nigga, man. That is. Yeah, he is. He just grew up. You know, inspired by Wayne, bro. You know, motivated. Like, so, got a couple of records with him. It's not like one. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, a couple of records. Yeah, yeah. We got the We Out Here joining. We got the Hustle Hard joining. We got a. Uh, yeah. Then we did like another record too. Remix, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
But working with him, man, it was just like, to me, that had to been like the biggest dream come true. Obviously, mm-hmm. growing up on him and, you know, where we from, Carter One was everything. You know what I'm saying? Carter One was like the narrative to my whole high school, my whole t- young, young teenage days, you dig? Mm-hmm. So, um, to, to be in there working with him, man, just to, this nigga skating. Right. <laughs> He's skating and, and writing in his mind. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? And, uh, he skated in my session. Right, he did that same <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that ramp in the Hit Factory. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we in Hit Factory, and um, he, you know, he's skating back and forth, and we just, you know, had a little small conversation, told him the idea of the record and what we wanted to do. But just watching him create, man, I just was excited to be in his presence at that moment, at that time, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and to see, like, that I did that on my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in that dolo, like, chilling all day with him, just watching bro do his shit. Waiting on the record. All right, cool. Boom, he ain't finished it tonight, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna knock it out tomorrow. Cool. So, you know, I pull back up the next day and I'm right there again, vibing. Oh, he real about it. He gonna do like, it. you feel what yeah, I'm saying? Like, and he really did it and he was like on some, uh, like on some big bro shit, for that's, real. So that's dope. Let's make some noise for that, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's an artist who, who fucked with you in your highlight. Like. Mm hmm. Right. These people saying they're yeah, your brother. Industry shit. Right? Now you're on your own. Mm-hmm. Now the favor is not for we the best. Now the favor is not for cash money. Right. It's for solely ace. Come on, all right. Come on. Who's man. somebody you call How you think that guy? made me feel, bro, when you think about that? Because on some real shit, bro. Hold on, before we get into okay, that. Okay. Who's the artist? Yeah. I want you to keep it real. Take this shot. So, Take this shot. Yeah, Take this yeah, shot. Yeah, Take this yeah. shot. Yeah. I want you to keep it real. I ain't asking you to keep it real or know the name or whatever. Earlier. Yeah. yeah. Who's the artist you call? And you were like, man, what's up, bro? And they're like, man, I need, I need to visit the nurse. And they're like, I'm in Australia for two months. Like, nigga, this is a computer over there. Yeah. Who's the artist? Let's keep it real. And she was like, you disappointed. Maybe it ain't front of you. I got an artist like that, too? Yeah. Nah, we don't be looking for that. Nah. I'm just saying. You know what? Like, well, let me say. Man, I move so different, or right. you know what I'm saying? Like that's the only thing yeah, but, about but, that. So, but that's what I'm saying. Moving different because it's one thing when you were Cash Money, you were mm-hmm. uh, you were L.A. Reed, you were Def Jam, and then when you're on your own, it's really a, like a favorite. Or maybe you what you mean is someone treating him differently. I, yeah, someone treated yeah. somebody different. treat me. Yeah, yeah, somebody treated you. Differently. Somebody who treated me. Oh right. yeah, for they sure. Disappointed you. Uh yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh not to the level of, of uh disappointed because I, I felt like it was expected. But uh for sure, I think it's that uh, relationships with people that I had, they weren't the same. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the relationships were recommendations to me. You know what I mean? So I had to get rid of lawyers and all type of shit because it was recommended, it was in house type shit, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's like you know, I had an identity, so it's like I had to create a whole another identity outside of that. That's mm. that was the different thing about me mm. is that coming outside of we the best was like, okay, y'all know me for that, right. but I'm a new I'm a new being outside of this thing. I got to create right. a new me. Here's a better so, question. Here's mm-hmm. a better question because I want you to keep it right. Okay. And I see you being political. <laughs> Who's artists that you worked with? When when you were with them <laughs> that you wanted to work with now and you can't get a hold of. There's somebody got them. Chris. Brown? Chris, yeah. Nah, nah, come on. He dancing too much. How you gonna like, ask him and then say Oh, nah. they, but this was not like, it's not the most, <laughs> like, he, he, but, it, but it ain't the most like recent thing, but it was like a record. Chris Brown. You know, uh, right. It was a record that, actually a smash record and I still have it and I hadn't released it, but it was like, uh, probably about three, four years ago I was trying to put out, uh, but I just, for some reason, couldn't get in contact with him. But through the grapevine, I, I just heard that there might be uh, a little bit of discomfort from that end like a regarding a situation that I wasn't fully aware of. As if people were picking sides? Uh, not so much of that. As it was an incident that happened years ago of him wanting me to be a part of a record of just by hearsay that he wanted me to be a part of a record and thought you and, did and, that and, and thought that like I didn't, you know, and I never came through to do the record. I wasn't interested oh, wow. in doing the record. Mm. That that's never true. You well, know I thought you mean like, that's why I said Chris dancing around every. I thought you meant like he was on tour or something like that. Oh, you saying... Oh, like, like oh, you I just could, for some reason, energetically, it just felt like I couldn't reach him in some way. You know what I mean? I'm, like, hitting him on the DM type shit, like, no response type. You know what I mean? Like, that type of feel. So, okay. uh, rightfully so, I could have went deeper, you know what I mean, and hollered at... You know, I feel like I hollered at the people around him and all, and they, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, they, people give you the little run around type shit. Yeah, hit him through the, you know, and make sure you, you know, tap in through the... 
type shit. So it was like one of those, as opposed to just you as mans, you can just tell them, you feel me? So it was the little, little, little things like that that I, I started noticing or whatever. Um, but that's probably like the most recent, you know, the only thing that's happened, not the most recent, but the only thing that's. Because me, um, be a lot of artists running on me, mm. throw it out there. Um, and I work with a lot of people too, so yeah, that's coming that's coming out of it, I wasn't really try, so I wasn't really. Take your ass another shot, man. Like, you feel me? Like, come on, man. 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 If we keep it a G and we keep it honest, yeah. you know what I mean? Let me Take go ahead and shot. hit another look. Shot. You know what I'm saying? I know he's got that. He's got that. We are here for that, baby. Yeah. God damn it. Come on, let's go. So, if we, if we being honest, bro, uh-huh. if we keep it a G, you know, that was, um, you know, bro, like, that was like weird energy coming from the other side. You know, like, that was real people trying to stop me from prosper, prospering on the side of, like, my old label on some mm-hmm. G shit. I ain't gonna say names or whatever, but me trying to like, you know, I'm paying for radio, me trying to put my record through on radio, getting it serviced on radio, like niggas trying to undercut me in the beginning. Like, yeah, I felt like not even felt, bitch. That's what what happening. That shit that's what was popping. Niggas was trying to like finish me for real. That's how I felt. That's how I took it personally. And that was that was my energy. You know what I'm saying? Like I was on that type of shit of just like, cause that's what it is. That's what niggas do. Like, you know, and um, it's like anything And it's like and When you're trying to create Some shit for yourself Like why that gotta be a problem You know what I'm saying Like and, and for me I got I had an issue with that bro Like don't, don't stop me If you gonna stop me From trying to feed my family I got an issue That means you can't really exist The way you want to exist right. If I can't If I can't feed my family That's gonna be a problem for people yeah. You know what I'm saying So for me Once it start Once that started happening like I got into that mode and that's when shit started moving and people started kind of to fall back and you know shit started to move a little bit faster with some shirts certain shit so uh but I ain't, I ain't, I, ain't, I wasn't with that shit bro I wasn't with that right. you feel me Salute. Salute. I'm, I'm gonna tell you one time an artist particularly running <laughs> on me um, Salute hit me just now he hit you right now the artist <laughs> <laughs> I like it that <laughs> <laughs> but one, one time you know, I'm cold. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm in Hawaii. So, I want to do a record with Big Sean. Is this when you're living in Kendall already? No, nah, I'm already left Kendall. Oh, okay. You were, you were living with Eddie. The record. You're living with Eddie now. Eddie's, no, no, no. <laughs> Eddie's, I, oh, by the way, Eddie lives with me. <laughs> Him and Strip TV, they both watch my drawers. So, just, just, so just throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> but let me just let me just uh, he, he, he tried he tried to cut the jokes like I'm back I'm back I'm good I'm good I'm good but and maybe I maybe I went through the wrong people to go through Big Sean because cause when I seen him later on in life he acted like he really didn't understand this. but I'm I'm cold as shit but I'm still Nori and I feel like yo who I am so I can't Reach him direct. I see him in a Sean Chris concert. It's a Sean Chris concert. Forget who else. It's Big Sean is on there. I think Wale is on there. So I, it's in New Jersey. Mm-hmm. New Jersey for me, that's Broward County for a Miami nigga. Oh, it's uh, Dave for a Broward nigga, right? Got it. Got it. It's next joint over. So I pull up. I see him myself. I give Big Sean the CD. But I get it. You coming off stage, you know, mm-hmm. blah, 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 whoop, dee, whoop. But what happened was I hit a guy named Mike Brinkley. I remember it because I remember everybody in front of me. I Jesus. kid you not. <laughs> Mike Brinkley. He works at Rock Nation right now. He knows he cannot destroy this story. <laughs> I'm following up with Mike Brinkley. I'm following up with Mike. Mike Brinkley used to cut hair. He was a barber. He used, to, he used to be Nas barber. And then I think at one point he was my barber. So... I'm like, damn, you go from the barber to, to, to Big Shaw's manager, you're not even answering my calls. <laughs> like, this is real. So, bottom line, never got the record done with Big Shaw. Never got a response. Never got an answer back. Never got nothing. All right? Mm-hmm. To me, that's disrespect. Yeah. It's, it's, it's big time disrespect, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 at least no response. You want another shot for disrespect? So, 
<laughs> shot for disrespect. <laughs> take, take, take a shot for disrespect. <laughs> right, and I'm, I'm, come on, bro. Like, like I laid down the yes. law. Mm-hmm. I laid down the law. I don't got no problem with Big Sean, but I'm gonna tell you what happened one day. Mike Wolf knows exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. We outside, That's as right. we usually be. Right. <laughs> I love it. Big Sean sees us in town. Walks up to me, he says, yo, I'm a big fan. I says, no, you're not. <laughs> hey. Am I lying, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Even my wife looked at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I was like, no, you're not. Like, this is now Drink Chance is working. This is a different thing. I don't say he wanted to get on Drink Chance or nothing. But, bro, I came to you. I brought him to your peoples now. I'm going to blame his peoples more than I'm going to blame him. Because I can tell from his reaction, he was not prepared. He did not know about all these calls. I'm an artist, too. But he remembered that CD handoff. There's no way you don't remember me handing you that CD. Yeah, that's crazy. That's the reason why I didn't connect with the five. Mm. <laughs> You never connected. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know if this was a private incident. No, 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 no. that's some <laughs> real shit, bro. Like, like I was supposed to blow it up, the... Big Sean. I apologize. Cause I'm a fan of the nigga. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do a song with you unless I'm a fan of you. Mm-hmm. So obviously, I'm a fan. I'm not, I'm, nothing's going to take away from me being a fan of you. Yeah. As an artist, but I thought, as his reaction, I wasn't a fan of him as a person. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Let's take a shot. Dig that. Let's take a shot. But um, I don't know if that loses you up because, I mean, that's a terrible way of putting it. Names and answers and everything. Oh, that loses you up. And God bless. God bless. Salud. God, and I, I want to, you know, here's a disclaimer. Here's a disclaimer, Salud, right, that comes man. with that. Salud. All right, boy, I'm out. Maybe that incident, not him, because, you know, he's great. He doesn't give a fuck. One way or the well, other. I care one way or another. And, I, I, you know, it's, it doesn't really stop. I'm sure he does care, to be honest with you. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I, I mean, mean, I would hope. For who he is now. Yeah. Who he yeah. is. Yo, God yeah. bless him, man. You know, I really am Because sometimes right? the team does get in the way. I feel like it was the team because and, and, of his and the, reaction. And, the person, you know, and I should have, I should have, I you know. But you did hand him the CD. No, I did have him a CD at this, at this, at this, which is that's man. crazy. Let's big up to Ali. But then he called him and reached out, and right, like you. No, no I called his team. team. Okay, because that's how I do. I, right, I like what I'm saying. Like you reached I called out his to team, his direct team. That's the reason why. That's the reason why he knew I wasn't lying when I said, because I, I don't remember what's going to happen tomorrow. Like I'm just, you know, when I said Mike Brinkley, and he looked, he put his head down, like whoa. It's either he remembered that time that he was dealing with Mike Brinkley or he remembered that Mike Brinkley reached out. So it's either or, I, don't, I can't right, pick. Right. Yeah. But bottom line was I got fronted on and I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, wait. Will that uh, <laughs> incident stop you from fronting on the next person? Nah, I'll judge every character by the character. I don't think, Big, let me just be clear. Because I, I, we made this about him. I don't think he's a bad person. I think it was a bad decision made around both of us, and it, and it had to be. But would that make me front on somebody else? I don't, I, I, let me clarify this question, sir. No, I'm, I'm wondering. Like, have you ever felt that you might have done that to somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were Big Sean. <laughs> by mistake, though. It's been clearly by me, personally. Right. Once a person names him, I'd have been like, yo, did my bad. Right. Especially if I'm a fan of the person. Because that's what he came up to me and said. That, I, look, he would have said, yo, what's up, my dude? Good to meet you. I would have gave him a five. And I said, I don't think it's good to meet me because you, you met me before. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right, right, right. And I would have remembered, you know what I mean? But he didn't say that. He said, yo, what's up, bro? I'm a big fan. And I was like, no, you are not. <laughs> Which I can respect that, too. You I didn't say it that loud. I didn't yeah. say it that loud. But I said it enough for my niggas to be like, what the fuck? But they just say it's like, man, whatever, whatever song I'm gonna do, we're gonna do. And his security looked like what? Like it was, it was weird. It was they weird. Because it's 26 of us. Clearly, it's 20. The security is him and two security. No, 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 no. no respect. I'm just, I'm not. And it wasn't no beef shit at all. It wasn't no beef. Right, it was right, just right, like, right. yo, bro. So I'm just saying, Ace, you had that. to go through something. I had to, I had to a little bit of weed about, like, 
And you wanted to make a new Bugatti? Not with no artists, bro. Not with no artists. Wow. Because I had to recreate myself. Mm. I needed people to see me in a, in a, in a, <clears throat> on a different own. light. On your mm. own. On my own. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? And get used to what that looked like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> and I think that's... So it's just me. It was just... Yeah, that's what I'm myself. saying. I'm like, bro, I done did... I done I'm did it swear. like... Nah, G shit. Swear. Like, <laughs> nah. But it was like... <clears throat> I, done, I done got had the opportunity in the platform to do so many features. Mm. And I'm so grateful that like... Because the talk back then was just like, oh, you can't do... You can't make a hit without the feature. That's the stigma well, and the, the energy. Well, first without a piece of hustle, all of they had course. nobody you were Or they looked over that. Okay. Of course, they trying okay. to, but I don't pay, you know, I know right. I do me, and I know right. I'm gonna get on when it's time to get on, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> so yeah. that for me, like, that's what it was. I'm just like, man, I need to, like, people to see me in a different light, because I'm a different being, I'm a different person. I'm more elevated, I'm more leveled up. So I'm like, people need to understand who this person is now. Mm-hmm. That way they can learn, learn, learn to understand the individual, and then mm-hmm. we gonna pair back the features like we doing present moment. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Let me ask you. Hey. Does it feel like your early career was built off of you with somebody else? Because you got Khaled creating these records. Yeah. And creating these moments. Now he uh-huh. said that. He said no, no, true. I know, I know. But I, I just want to go back to it and just like, because this is a big gem for artists. Right. Like for you to recreate yourself on your own without any features. Without, how, like how difficult did you feel that was? I feel like... Because that's humbling because right, your ego right. would tell you... The feature didn't matter. No, that's what, that's you know? what I asked him mm-hmm. in a different way, and he said, "No artist front of him." That's what I was saying to say, like, yeah, you know. just because after that point, I didn't reach out to no big artist. Right. I just reached out to the people that that I had relationships with, right. or that you know what I'm saying. Like that was only it. So I kind of stayed in a certain lane. Right. I didn't really try to go above that type of mm-hmm. thing, you know. So it's like, and I went into that. I went into it with expectation. If I did go, right. I would know in my mind, all right, what they may charge me or what they may. Right. So you know what I mean? Because I had to put on the business you hat again. Yeah, I'm rebuilding. So right. at this point I'm learning business you know I'm learning finances I'm learning you know just about myself who am I outside of music who outside of Ace Hood like I'm learning my I'm learning how to be a man for real all of again I feel like I was coming from a world that allowed me to be a child that allowed me to you know not take responsibility of some of my choices and decisions and just like allow shit to fall through the crack you know what I mean like allow me to oil a little bit with IRS allow me you know what I'm saying just that little shit right there and it's like I had to big switch all that over and find healthy pieces, healthy pieces around me that's gonna help me flourish. And it's like, now that I've built that 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 infrastructure, it's like that's what's helped me sustain, you know, during my independent journey. So, and that was a part of my recreation. It was everything outside of the music, my accounting. You know what I'm saying? Finding a new PR. You know what I'm saying? Which is still music, but finding a good manager. You know what I'm saying? Finding a good business manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta handle your business. I had to put on that hat, which mm-hmm. was scary as fuck because it's like. Nigga, I came from where I had a bunch of people around doing everything. I ain't have to do nothing. My homie, he gonna handle that. He gonna do that. I got a problem. My dog, I knew who to call. Like, I got do. Yeah, it leaves me and my hands are free. Right. Like, now it changes to where it all, all falls of this work on, on my table. Like, right. you feel me? So I ain't reach out to no other artists because I'm like, I ain't finna pay you niggas that. First of all, because I'm independent and shit different. You know what I'm saying? So... But I ain't had nobody to front on me like that, whoa. Chance, I'ma smoke that shit, bro. I'm gonna fat, <laughs> Take it off. Wait, hold on, hold on. You gotta stay here for this one. Come on. <laughs> no, you have to. You have to. You have to. I'm sorry. This is, this is, you know, this is your. This must be this is our a big one because. So, what is your, what do you like more? Oh, Jesus. Major. Oh, yeah. This independent. Is. You want our opinions first before you answer this? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, I just say that being independent, you control, you own, there's a better legacy there. I feel. And then. Major. <laughs> <laughs> no explanation. <laughs> Red nigga shit. I would like, I would like your explanation. What would you like more? Independence. Or, it's never true independence. All right. Mm. I prefer a team, you know. Um, connection with distro you dig what I'm saying but in terms of everything I like independence why? because I like ownership I like owning my masters Mm -hmm. I like owning my shit I like owning my publishing Mm -hmm. I like owning all my rights and shit I like getting the largest the larger percentage on my business splits for my royalties when they double around yeah my family we finna crack one you feel me but man God is good man 
but I prefer independence because right, I, like I'm the happiest I've ever been. Why? Because I'm I'm free. Nobody own me, nobody none. I got I got money. I'm straight. I don't gotta do. I don't want. I'm good. You can do whatever the fuck you want. And too. I can, you know what I mean. I can structure my shit. Well, how I gotta want defend to. the majors a little bit. You could be on a major and they don't own you, bro. Like you know, I, I mean, that's very rare. Like, and it depends on how you come into the I major. Mean, that's, 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 you that's, have that's, to come that's, in that's at a high level. Hold on, hold on. It, no, you know, I came in at a low level, and we I had what was called a grandfather deal at the end, and that was beautiful for me. Like they could not do certain things to me. Grandfather deal is. So I just, I just, I just want to explain. But that remember, the era and people, the era matters too. That's a different era. I don't. Okay, okay, maybe you have a point there. Let me not argue with that there. Right? And but, a, but let me just tell you something. There is a way to be on a majors and still. There's nothing like, wrong with being on a major. Still I'm not saying have that. all your integrity. Have, have, have I didn't have. I'm my, not saying it takes have, away your integrity either. I mean, it does. No, it man. Does. I'm just it saying does. if you like to be independent, own your, like you said, own everything, mm-hmm. make your own decisions, steer your own ship. But when you're on a major, you got execs. You got to talk to you gotta they're gonna handle how you market yourself how you promote it when it comes out how it comes mm-hmm. out and then you're gonna own them like a bank like you gotta owe them money that's all alone that's true that's and true. that's the difference of the that's era because in that era there was right. so much money in the industry yeah. that they would wash those loans all right, all right cool don't worry we, you don't owe us anymore. no this is the difference right all right after you learn the business you satisfy with the record label you do you, you do it I, I, it's like it's like here's the part where i wish you would have said either leaving Def Jam or leaving Universal. When your contract is void, you could have said, I want to stay with Universal Direct. Or I want to stay with Def Jam Direct. As long as Def Jam is with that, uh, you, that wouldn't have happened, though. It, why it wouldn't have happened? I would like to explain. I, want to hear I would point. imagine Talk to everything me. you're saying about the blackballing, it wouldn't have happened. That's what I, I'm imagining. Right, because to me it's like. But it can. I've done that. No, no, it can okay, happen. So let me do, it let's, can let's, happen. Right, but so I'm you're saying, saying his, his specific situation. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, right. There's too many that. people okay, in right, the building. Right, too right, many yeah. people in the building. Yes. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. And but, it just what? Yeah. But but I'm. But I would love that. I love that. I'm telling you that it did happen because I did that with my situation. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I did that in my situation where it was like, all right, cool. You're unique, bro. You were signed to Rockefeller without being signed to Rockefeller. Come on, get the fuck out of here, man. That makes a noise for me. That makes a noise for me. <laughs> so you, but, you, but I'm not the only guy that was on a major that is that was happy. I no, can't I'm not be. saying that. It's not that. just me. You're not, you, you really, you, you're taking what I'm saying and going in a different direction. They have the independent approach, too. Look, I mean, it's, look, man, I think that I'm not opposed, you feel me, to, to, to rocking with a major label. I think it all depends on, like, it's just what we can agree to. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. what you're willing to give, what you're willing to be flexible with. It's all about a deal. To me, it's all what's within the guidelines of the contract. Mm. It could be major or it could be anything. Like, right. if, it, if it's the right team, it's the right situation, like, I feel like, yeah, I'm going to go with it. But, it's you know, it's a lot determining that's that type of thing when I'm, when I'm really I'll in give you it. give a perfect like example. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, mm-hmm. go ahead. Right now, everybody's like Little Wayne just sold his masters for a hundred mil. No, it's publishing, wasn't it? No, it's the masters of his young money. Did he sell money. publishing too? No, no, it's not even him. He's selling, like I think his Nicki Minaj. Yeah, the other artists. The, oh, it's the other not other even artists. him. And you know, mm-hmm. these are the brokest people in the world saying mm-hmm. this guy is selling for hundred mil. I mean, million. nobody should you know comment what, on know, shit they don't really know about. You know the what details. it's like? It's like mm-hmm. it's like. I would never do that. I would not because uh, if I'm in that situation. But you've never been in that situation. You can't really say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like Pharrell Absolutely. says, "Zoom the fuck out." That's it. <laughs> oh, it's not like that at all. <laughs> I'm gonna take an independent test. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Yeah, use the bathroom. Bathroom break. But it's definitely not like that. You gotta sneak that in there. It was definitely not like that. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Yeah. We have a fun day. I got you, kid. I got you. I got you, kid. I got you. Hey, I thought we get the Yeah, get, get, I, I respect that, baby. Get this on camera. Film this. Get Film bomb, this. Get Do bomb. not cut. Do not cut. Give us some bomber cool. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the the the. This is bomber. Yeah, this is this is this is. I forget. This is a rock you brandy. Want mama oh, you want bomber? Mama water. You want mama water? You want both together? That listen. God damn. Right. You want a Jeffrey? No, no, no. Look, this is what I suggest. It's the closest thing to the closest a, uh, Tiger Bowl. But it's from Dominican Republic. And Pitbull is Pitbull Company. Closest thing to Tiger Ball. Give me a Yeah, yeah. 
you got your cup for you. Yeah, keep keep filming. Keep filming. This is, close, this is Mama Wana. Mama Wana. Mama Wana. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mama Wana. Come on. Hold on. That's sweet. That boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Bamboo is sweet too. Bamboo is sweet too. Yeah, give, give, take, give, take, take it to the family. Yeah. So what is shit that be on the floor? I need that yay yay. Yay yay. I need all one. I respect this. I respect this. All that yay yay. The reason why I don't fuck with it is because of that. Take it back. Take it back then. Yeah, yeah. Take it back then. Yeah, yeah. You good. Y'all yeah. make the party. Yeah. You good. Good. Yeah. Take it back then. Interviews where you like, man, this is the most comfortable you've been. You say, yo, I wear chains or I wear jewelry if I have to be, if I have to. But what, did you feel like that was like your image as a rapper at one point? Like, just you had to like always have an actual Bugatti or actually have these certain things to a like, look. So, was was that something? Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you felt, yeah, yeah. You felt, I felt like uh, I felt like there was times, bro, where I put like my. Um, my identity of who I who I was was in the things that I had. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like um, all the relationships in, that I had as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's all ego shit for me. So, you want to wear yeah, like I wanted to do right, and yeah. it's like not even knowing why you really want to rock that right, shit or wear right, it. It's just because right. that's what niggas what we don't. That was yeah, the that's what everybody else is that's doing. Everybody else doing. Yeah. So, uh, for me, it was just like, man, I, I need to, you know, I, I need to find myself. Who am I outside of that? That simple question, bro. Like, who are you outside of that? You know, and uh, that was the search and the quest that I was on, which is why I did the independence. When I got independent, I started my first project was Trust the Process because I ain't want to know what the fuck was going to happen during or, or just what's going to happen in general. Philly, people from Philly start saying, you got that from Philly, right? And you didn't even know that. Uh-uh, I ain't even know it. Right. No, nah, right. I'm, I'm, I watch basketball a little bit, but right. I'm a football head. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, that's my field. Uh, but I did become familiar with it, and I right. think, like, Great, we all inspired. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, and I like what they got going on in Philly too. Shit, with that trust the process. Right. It's the same shit. It's, 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 oh yeah, yeah. I thought it was different. I thought it was, theirs was build the process, and yours was trust the process. Or trust the process has been the slogan around. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, you know, I like them slogans. Even with like Hustle Hard, I like right. that. Same old shit, just a different day. You know, that slogan been around forever, but I, I like phrases. Like, you a man know I've had problems with the Hustle Hard? Because he got a Hustle Hard company. And you know, I was, like, so you know what? I think at one point during when that song kind of came out, it wasn't yeah, like I smoke, did. but I think that was like a conversation. Wow. That needed, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I fuck with Mano. Mano, my dog. I fuck with Mano. He's good people. Wow. Like, you know, um, but yeah, like nah, it wasn't really like no smoke, smoke over that, and no, no real issue, or anything. But right. shit was always love. Right. That's what's up. Yeah, bro. What's up? Make some noise for that. Yeah. Bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> secretly hiding over there, some chicken. Yeah, I saw some oh, crazy. What, what is that? Like chicken over there. Oh, those are my tests. Oh yeah, it's my COVID test. Mm. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
like how you cleaned that up. Let me clean it up. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 can't go, you can't go to the cow bar. Did it? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna diss Trina like that. that, that, that. No. <laughs> I, like, I like the cleaner. Future T Pain. Oh, you know what, bro? Ah, damn. T Pain. Brow of the day. Brow. Drake or Wayne. Wait, let's go Wayne. back to Broward and Dave, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They gotta keep it real. This, this, this. I said it. Which one we on? I said, we on we on Drake and Wayne. Wayne. Oh, all right, cool. All right. Nas or Jay? Ooh, Nas. Booby Trap or G Five? G Five. <laughs> I heard about Booby though. I fuck oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about Booby, but we, we, we Booby Trap yeah. affiliates over here. Yeah, yeah. Like we cool. We, yeah. we daytime All dudes. Just Booby Trap legends. Yeah. They, no, they no, love no. it. But they go at nighttime. We go. We daytime yeah. dudes. We go there. We're going to daytime. When the midget is working. We go on different hours. We go on different hours. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Daytime hit us. We the best on Cash Money. We the best. Okay. Rolex or KOD? Strip club. KOD. Those are different time frames, man. All right. The Rolex well, had its run early. Well, Rolex or Audemars? Still KOD. KOD was, you know. Nah, but Rolex well, comes pre KOD. Yeah, what? Well, Rolex or Audemars? Take one and all that. Yeah, Talk take one. Yep. Rolex. Kodak Black or Denzel Curry? Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a rough one. Wow. Kodak. Loyalty or respect? Respect. I respect that. <laughs> Holy moly, guacamole. We are on the road, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> we are on a roll. This feels good, doesn't it? You know, I'm always happy when we stop Florida's in the building. Yeah, he's definitely like, like if there was like a pro city, mm -hmm. like a, a word for like like being like pro judice, like a pro sigis, sigis. Your pro sigis is your pro state status. This because are you for the whole Florida? Or just like just no. Nah, if you, I, I'm a rep all of Florida, oh, but okay. I'm gonna be specifically South Florida. But if you're from Florida, then you already that's that's fam. You got an orange right there. You, you turned Biz Marquita from Florida. Is that Biz Marquita on your shirt? No, I'm just killing Mike. Oh, shit. That's hard. That's hard. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Biz Marquita. Hard. I apologize. Shout out to Biz Marquita. Facts. So is that advantage being from the South or is it disadvantage? Advantage, bro. Advantage, bro. That energy, that swag, like that. Mm. Like, it ain't nowhere else in the world. Everybody trying to recreate it. Mm -hmm. Everybody. If we being honest, um, you know, everybody want that southern touch. Mm. Ask, you know, Kylie Jenner. They all, yeah, everybody want it, you know? Mm. They want to catch the vibes. Uh, uh, I'll be in from the south. That south, man, that shit, the slang, the food, the uh, energy. Are you a you know vegan? Saying? No, I exercise it, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, so you, eat, you still eat southern food? Uh, not really. No. So what's uh -uh. your favorite food right now? Like right now I'm getting you high. You get, I want you to finish the smoke jam. I'm going to finish it. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's, it's only the finest herbs on earth. You know what oh, no, like, the... right, What is this? What are we smoking? It's mean, gas truck. It's the, uh, that's not Super Thug OG? Yeah, that's the gas truck. Yeah, that's the gas truck. Yeah, 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 shut up. Gas truck. Yeah. 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 Soon to be distributed by Cherry. It's so good, he didn't even know. Yeah, it was yeah, <laughs> Soon to be distributed by Cherry OG with the Super Dog OG. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Cherry Colorado. Shout out my group, yo. Cause I, um, cause you, you don't smoke blunts, right? You don't smoke blunts. You, you don't do that. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, but you, you a swisher. You a backwood swisher, nigga. I'm a backwood nigga. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, bro, them swishers crazy. I don't like. I think. Y'all niggas like superheroes who can smoke the swishers. That's what I think. Niggas who got the swishers shot. like superheroes. I love the shot. I love the shot. Yeah, get to you. It's okay. Bro, yeah. Yeah, get to you. It's okay. I love it. I love it. I can take it. 
Uh-huh. Man, I, I I started off smoking the Swishers, mm-hmm. you know, because that's what they was on. The purple Swishers was the mm-hmm. was the vibe until them shits was destroying my throat. I'm like, what? that was just my whole vibe, bro. It was harsh. What? What? That shit was crazy. I'm like, nah, I can never. And it was like a little music dry. No more. You know? That's why I'm doing this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up your shit. No, no. I'm fucking with, like, fuck with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, 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 man. Nah, nah. But what's the happiest moment of of your whole? I mean, besides your kids and your marriage, because we're gonna go there too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, in the music, the career, business, the, the career. Music business, what was that one time where you was like, "Man, this is this is this is me." Like you know, I, I let me shut up. That one time where it's like, "This is me." Oh, this is not not this is me, but um, like I've arrived. I, I arrived and I belong. Ooh, it's a good question, man. I feel like I felt like that when the Hustle Hard record dropped. It's like I belong. I felt like that was a solidifying record. But I think like to find my footing in the independence world, to keep it honest, bro, because I feel like I recently had that feeling of where it's like, you know, like this is where I belong. Like this is what I need to be doing. Like this is what I need to be saying right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I'm in the right, like just, you know, when you feel like the universe is aligning things in your life and it's like, oh, like, it's like, that's where I'm at. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, when I, just my independence represents that, man, of just like, this is what I need to be doing. Because I can do it. I can do it from the independence perspective. I thought that I put all my faith and all my energy and all my identity and into that whole idea of being a part of a major label and a part of that. I thought, like, you know, I couldn't do it. Like, who am I without that shit? And to be who I am in the independent world, like, still thriving and still relevant in this world, I'm like... It's where I need to be. I knew I was built for this shit, bro. And, and I agree with you, right? But I got you. Got to give me a moment where you would like with that with that platinum record, and you had to feel like you belong there. You telling me, you telling me with these big records in these platinum records, uh-huh. you in these parties, and you feeling like you didn't belong. Like you, you felt like what? Do you, what, what is that? What does that itself mean? Because I'm, I'm saying like, like, like. It's certain times in my career where I'll go to a party and that's my party. I don't give a fuck who's it is. Mm-hmm. It's my shit. Yeah. You ain't never yeah. felt like that. I felt like that. Okay. I felt okay. So for that so moment, that, that means I, belong. That, that's right, what right, I'm right. trying to establish. Like I'm going anywhere for this. This the uh, BT Awards, bro. Okay. There we go. BT Awards is where I felt like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, because just to know, right? So Hustle Hard was a mixtape record. Yep. Right? It wasn't even an album record yet. It was just a record like I created at the crib, put that bitch on the mixtape, and then once the city got a hold to it, like they went to call and phone back to back, like, yo, so they called Khaled, like, yo, E Class hit him, like, yo, well, you know. I'm to make a beat to this, by the way. I don't know if y'all. Yeah. That, that's that's so hard. Yes. I thought about yeah, that. I'm yeah. that guy. I'm that, no, okay, every right, sound right, I make right, beats for real. For real. I'm the guy. I made a beat already. Yeah, I think. This is a beat. Yeah. I love it. I don't know why I put this <laughs> voice like yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I love for real, man. We're great friends. Finish your tour. Finish your tour. So. Where are you going to the So. So. Damn, where was I? Where was I, Wolf? Where was it? It was BT Awards. BT Awards. BT Awards. Right? Thank you, my brother. That's what I'm talking about. BT Awards, Stop right? So, <laughs> I'm like, nah, Boulay. Uh, so, boom. <laughs> exactly. so, boom. BT Awards, bro. It's the moment where I felt like because Hustle Hard was a mixtape record or whatever. This is a record that, you know, it wasn't no label help, but these, these were my ideas. This is my voice. This is my writing. Like, wow. this is my penmanship. Wow. You know what I mean? And we want to perform this shit at the BET Awards, bro. Right. Like, that's massive right. where I come from. You dig? Like, right. and I'm the first artist from my city. Right. You know, full disclosure, I'm the first artist from Specifically Broward County. No, Broward County, Florida. From the county, you claim the whole county first. Broward County, Florida. I am, I am the original. I am the first. Woo! I am the pioneer. Woo! That's a Make fact. A noise, man. That's a fact. I'm gonna be honest. That's I mean, a fact. I'm gonna be honest. There's other pioneers. Just to be honest with you. Going Not back. to say that there wasn't. No, I'm there is. Speak, good, I can only speak for me. Like I can't speak for shit. the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm speaking about my pioneer. Right, 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 right. What I did. What I contributed to. What I. What I. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying there was cats that was from. Coming to my, well, who, who, no, no, not, not records like that. Not, yeah, not breaking uh, records like you was okay. doing. I'm just saying there was just but artists that were. But you know, that, that, that we all are on people's backs. Saying, we are facts. all doing something on someone else's back. Right. 
And we got to understand that and respect that. Broward County. And I'm talking about Broward County. Well, who back would I have done it on at that particular time? No, I'm just saying, just artists that had been doing it like since maybe even the '80s, even people I don't even know about. I'm, yeah. talking, I'm from early '90s era that I'm talking that I'm thinking about. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying he's trying to secure the legends from me. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna but and, and I, don't respect even know. I respect that. I respect that. that. Yeah. No, nah, because I'm just yeah. saying there was there was people there doing it, repping repping the county. When it wasn't cool at all. Absolutely, right. you know absolutely, yeah, really absolutely. Shit. But let, so let me say, I'm one of the pioneers right, of the right. city. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like for sure, for sure. Like in terms of taking it well, worldwide take and the doing first all of that. Out. There you go. Right. Worldwide. Worldwide. Take it worldwide. worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 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 There you go. That's there what I'm saying. Go. Absolutely. That's, absolutely. That's, that's all I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, right. And it, and it feel you know. And then a lot comes with that. And then, like, it's a beautiful feeling because right. being the first from your city ain't always the greatest. Right. You know, who you think gonna get the most energy and the most, right. like, towards? Because mm-hmm. it's like, wait a minute, what the? You know? Right. Um, but it was just a beautiful feeling, man, to be uh, on stage, you know, at the BT Awards, have Ross there, you know what I'm saying? Right. Performing live, he huge. He got all these great records and stuff. And, uh, you know, Tune at that time, he already huge. And then Khaled, right. I just felt like just us doing that together and for this to be a record that I orchestrated made me feel affirmed you know what I'm saying as a man bro and I think like shit like that is important so I feel like I was solidified and locked in at that moment right. I felt like the city was proud the homies was proud you know what I'm saying like Awards, like hustle hard, hustle hard man performance hard. you feel me like I felt like at that particular time I'm like yeah this is it right here right. and from there we just went on to create more but that was definitely a, 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 an amazing moment for me dog yeah. crazy moment now you ever thought like, because at the time, right, like Lil Wayne was the hottest thing in, in, in the, in the like, everywhere. You ever right? that people compared you to Lil Wayne. Uh, at at some time, artists. but not really. It was. It was. Y'all both dark skin, take off your shirts, got abs, and <laughs> right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, just think about it. Like, like, right. you, you can see how people get You know what I'm saying? Yes, <laughs> yes. On the south, yeah, dark yeah. skin. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? like, they definitely would do some comparison, for yeah. sure. Because in New York, they, they can pay us yeah, yeah. Like, to, to, to anybody. Like, who had a, uh, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah brown skin. Come here! Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. And that's why I never, like, tattooed my entire body to keep wow. it G. Really? It's facts, bro. Because I knew, like, I knew it I knew it was always, I knew it was already a close comparison between me and bro. Right. So I was like, uh, I can't do all of that. And plus, I'm trying to get into acting and all that other stuff. Like, mm-hmm. And this is when I was young. I made this decision, so... I got my arms because I was going crazy at that time. So um, that's why I ain't do that because I'm like, I ain't trying to be another replica. Like, you uh, know, I am myself and I'm glad I did it. You would have face tats too. But I would have had all, probably not face tat. I probably would have had it up to the neck, the whole, like, the whole look for sure, yeah. You ever fucked with Lean in that moment? Because Lean yeah. for y'all niggas in the South, it was just like, For sure. I don't think Lean was that for big sure. out here though. No, it wasn't in your community. I'm talking about out here in yeah, Florida. No, yes, it was. Not, nah, you, not that big, bro. I'm just being honest. Like you and Kendall, depending upon what you're comparing it to. Honest. If you're comparing it to what, Cali? No. And compare it to Texas. I'm, I'm sorry, Texas. In New Orleans, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, my Cali. Yeah, and yeah, comparing no. it to, yeah, it, it was nothing out here. If you're nah. comparing it to Texas. To yeah, no. But yeah, it was, nothing I, out, I but it was I out here. I know it was out here. Everything is fucking in Miami and Broward and Southwest, everything. But it wasn't that big out here. It was someone in my crib with eighths. I'm like, what the Lean. Yeah. Boris had lean? Nah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. This motherfucker well, did not have lean. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yo, you didn't even know you think thinking no, I know. I didn't even know he was smoking weed. You gotta relax. You didn't know he was smoking weed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, but if that shit popular in, in one part of the world, it's active in every every it's other active, place. Sure. Active, it's always yeah. like that, you know. That should be active. active. So if it's like the weed popping in Cali, then you know every place else is gonna be active with the weed. Cause right. like they got, you know what I'm saying? So like. We was active down here with it, but not like, you know, Houston. But right. being that that shit was so heavily in, the, in influence and shit, and you were talking about it so much, like, you know, it, it was accessible. Right. So I had me a few bottles and shit, did my thing with that. What made you say that's not you? Sleepy and shit? The, the tiredness and shit, bro. Yeah. The after effect. Like, yeah, how long you would sleep, how tired you would be. Like, you'd be a, feel like you a genius on own it. You own know what I'm saying? When you want, when you, you taking the vibe and you, you know. Let's describe you, us that feeling. So the first, like, I was like, how, how, how was this? Hey, so look, so like, you know, you get your mix, drop a little, you know, Jolly Ranchers what's, in what's, there. Yeah, what's, what's your you mix? dropping Jolly Ranchers in there. I'm dropping ranch. Jolly Ranchers in there. I'm dropping, dropping ranch, Sprite. You know what I'm saying? I got the Sprite vibe. Okay, so you know what I mean? I'm already Jolly Ranchers. Oh, Sprite, yeah. Jolly Ranchers. It's a little sweet. Yeah. Definitely a little sweet. And then the Adelac. 
in 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 I wasn't a heavy dose, you know, I don't experiment like that. I ain't just a wild nigga. I never been that, which I'm glad. So, you know, experiment with a, a proper amount and then you catch the vibe. And then as time go on, you kind of build on that energy. You know, so um, as I would build on that energy, like you would start to feel like a little slow, but awake in some way. Cause you know, you smoking too. And then it creates the balance for you. And when it creates the balance for you, like, for you know it, you in the studio, man, I'm knocking out eight, nine records. You know what I'm saying? Like, not and I'm sleepy. just not At sleepy. First. I'm going though. Uh-huh. Because it's not an over, you know what I mean? It's not a heavy dose. It's not to where I'm just sluggish. Because you're controlling the dose. Right, right, right. right I'm right, just right. trying to get a balance mm. of just like, boom, I got this vibe and then I'm pairing it with the smoke. So it's going to give me an even balance. Mm. That's how my mind works. Should be weird. Mm. But, <laughs> it, but this shit, I'm telling you, but this shit create a fire balance. So I be in that shit like with the sauce. New Bugatti, you was on that song. Was it around Bugatti time? Yeah, it was around Bugatti time. It felt like mm. it. it. was around Bugatti no time. No wonder you woke up, and, or he, he, he woke said, up in the Bugatti. He, said, <laughs> he was on the lead! <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep in the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and uh, what's your favorite part of the game? Making Ooh. the record or performing the Performing that motherfucker, bro. You know, performing for sure. Uh, but if I gotta be honest, though, I think like uh, making the record, making the record gotta be, you know, because it's like, you know, it's always like the the, the predetermination of what's gonna happen when the record drop. You feel me? It's always like, ooh, nigga, this gonna fuck them up. They gonna chant this. I know it. Like I know, I know for a fact, like. When I say same old shit, just a different day, I know everybody can relate to that. You gonna say this over and over. I know they gonna repeat that. And then to create the record, and then to go out and perform it and hit them to say, pull the beat back in. Same old shit, just a different day. It's the magic of manifestation. You like my little crowd voice, you mm-hmm. feel me? Like, it's active, man. It's active, so I like the creation part of it for sure. Because I like to see what's gonna become of that, I like that. You ever been wrong about a record where you like this record would never work? And that shit just like, oh fuck. And it worked? Or vice versa. Or vice versa. Hmm. Nah, bro. If I'm being honest, I knew what would work and what wouldn't work. Wow. If I'm being completely honest, bro. Like I knew records that I would create and I knew they would be like, okay, this record works for this particular, like, you know, these particular people that might listen to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It might be a record that might be talking about the worldly events and the government or what's happening. Like it's gonna do fucking it's well do, in it's that. Thing in this. It's gonna do this thing right. in this. You know what I mean? So I measure my expectations. So it's like, if I'm creating a radio hit, that's different. You know what I'm saying? Like it's for sure records that I thought was gonna do better than, I, you know what I mean? Like, didn't do that great, that I thought was like, man, fuck. Like, I got a record that's uh, entitled I Know How It Feels with a Ty Dolla Sign. It's a smash radio record, but it didn't do what I thought it would. I'm like, damn, this record didn't. Was it the fault of the record or because it didn't have the radio push? Because it didn't have the radio push. So it couldn't, it's not necessarily that you were wrong, mm-hmm. it's just you didn't have maybe the tools that, that were needed to. Right, exactly, which was part of my Situation and reason to like departure and move on because that was, you know. Mm -hmm. So, right now, who's a new artist that you like that you would like to work with? New artist. You got records with City Girls? Baby. Baby. Little Baby. I like that little nigga, man. I'm sorry, I always got to think twice because it's too. Yeah, because it's too, right. Well, it's three babies, actually, if you count Stunner. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Right? Yeah, Yeah, that's real. You said, you said, baby. Yeah, yeah. You ain't say little baby. Little baby. baby is the one from South Carolina. No, no, no. He went from Atlanta. Little baby. That's oh, Lil and the baby. baby. Yeah, yeah. But I like the baby shit too, though. I like. I fought with the baby. Right. But but I, with the energy I'm on, I like I mean, little baby. I thought just the baby was from South Carolina. He used to wear the pamper. 
North what Carolina. What the fuck? North Carolina. I used North to wear the pepper. The baby is from North Carolina, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you said, and then you said little baby. Little baby from Atlanta. I said the baby is. Um, the baby's in, what? North Carolina. North Carolina. He's little there. baby's Atlanta. Atlanta. He was ill. Right. He killed that. He he wore it. He he ain't play around with that. Like, and to be who he is, he's a now little baby. My nigga with the dress. They just had a party. They gave him a Bugatti. The fuck they gave him? They gave him all type of. Uh huh. Q Q Q C. Yeah yeah yeah. Q C and them. They gave his birthday party. I said, damn. Get my life together. Get <laughs> <laughs> birthday party was crazy. That's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, it shit was crazy, yeah. So it's the baby that and then that's little baby. <laughs> that's little baby, right? That little baby, right? Just yeah. Mm-hmm. I like little baby. I seen them in the Waldorf story. Where? By himself walking around with two hundred and thousand dollars worth of jewelry on with a plastic bag. His security was outside and all, but he walked around by himself. What you say? Like he had that. cash in the bag? No, his jewelry. Oh. I like that. He had it in a plastic bag. I'm walking around with my kids getting breakfast at the Waldorf Astoria. I'm in my, so I'm going from like the regular people entrance to my actual room. Right. He's coming from the actual room. So we look, I seen each other. Boom. Took a quick flick. I like to do. I can tell he's a mm-hmm. he's street with it. He had security, but they was outside. I like that energy. Yeah. Like niggas can move on their own. Yeah. Handle your own problems on your own. You know what I mean? That's the type of guy I am. Today you rolled up by yourself. I rolled up dolo. Mm-hmm. That's the second time, I think, right? Yeah. No, third time. They wouldn't expect you to do that. That's the third time it's happened on Twitch. Well, third time people rolled up drink champs, dolo? By themselves. Who? Okay, who? I mean, that I remember. So Pitbull recently. Pitbull was weird, been. though. What do you mean he walked weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pitbull, what do you, what do you, I ain't gonna lie. Pitbull, I like that Pitbull He different. was on one. I don't know what he was on, but... <laughs> hey, he hey, was... hey, hey, that's my dog. <laughs> and then and 50 in, in Lil' Haiti. He, he originally came by himself. I know people followed. It's not true. No, nah, he was by himself. <laughs> he, in Lil' where? In Lil' Haiti. We, 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 we used to do, yeah, we used to do drink Haiti. champs in Lil' Haiti. And he pulled up. He had a driver. I think... I 50 think, had a driver? It was a driver. Well, driver. he walked into the spot by himself. This is absolutely. He had, we had a driver. I think he even had security. He told security, relax. Yeah. And the driver relaxed, and he walked in by himself. And I was so honored. I was so I mean, I'm sure you was honored. No, nah, it was I'm one saying, of the best episodes. I, say, episode, I, I yeah. mean you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I was so honored that, you know, you know, a star like hip-hop trust, trust us. Because we, we, we ain't letting nothing happen. Like, it, it don't matter who nah. the fuck. Yeah. It's a safe environment. Fuck anybody man. is around this motherfucker. Like, yeah. we set up. And nah, energy these, is are, real, these are bro. pure Miami boys. And I've been living out here for 14 years, so I, I somewhat think Miami claimed me, and I claim Miami. Uh, uh, goddamn it. Florida, goddamn it. Let's make some noise for y'all, goddamn it. Yeah. Make some noise for y'all, goddamn it. And I'm not going to lie. Wait, make some noise for y'all, goddamn it. Living in Florida, crazy. It's real. It's crazy. It's crazy, it's real. crazy out here. Yeah, it is, bro. You still live in Florida? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. You ain't moved to Atlanta? I thought, I thought nah, you were moved to Atlanta. Nah, I still live in Broward. Broward. God just the night, just the really, really, you know. Yeah, nice, place. Okay. <laughs> beautiful place. Okay, okay. And uh, that's my city. Mm. And uh, I love it here, man. Mm. I lived in Cali for a little bit. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was going back six and forth. Six months, I heard. Like, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. What part of Cali? Um... I had a spot. Uh, was it LA though? It was LA. It was it LA. Yes, it was LA. Um, what's what's the what's the beach out in Cali? Malibu or Santa Monica? Or- Santa Monica Beach. Okay. Yeah, that's a good spot. I live by Santa Monica Beach. That's where I was. Uh huh. Santa Monica Beach. Yeah. yeah. Malibu. Yeah. yeah uh huh. I'm on Malibu. Yeah. Right, of course. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 You definitely. I live by that area though, but it was like a very nice area, man. Like. Good vibes out there. Stayed out there and recorded some projects. Um, but I was kind of coming back to see my family, see my kids and stuff. So, um, yeah, man. But I, I love living out here in Florida. I do think at some point, though, I'd get another space somewhere else. But I always have, like, my main crib in Florida. It's just it's nothing, like, nothing like the crib, bro. Now, now you married. You married, married like me. Mm-hmm. That's another version of Mary? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hip hop version of married. Right. <laughs> you married, married. Mary, Mary. How long you been married? I've been married now for about for about eight months. Eight months. Oh, okay. You're newlywed. Yeah, I'm newlywed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I got married in uh, February, right before the Congratulations, pandemic. Congratulations, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. How long Thank you been you. with your lady? I've been with my wife for about five years, five and a half years. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, six years. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's my, uh, man, that's my love, man. That's my motherfucking dog, bro. Yeah, like, that's the realest shit ever, my nigga. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, man, for real. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's how I want it, too. Yeah, bro, for real. And, and I love, you know, what's so, what's so crazy, bro, is that, you know, I be hearing how people be speaking sometime about marriage and shit and talking about, like, how it's hard and all of that. It's crazy. I be seeing episodes of just seeing shit and just like some people be underplaying marriage, bro. I agree with you. Like, you know, if you if both the parties in the marriage decide to like grow and work through shit and have conversations about it, you could have a beautiful marriage if you and that other person right. is on the same page. It can be so beautiful, bro. Right. It can be like like that's just like magic, my nigga. Right. That's how I feel. Too. You feel me? Feel that That's how feel I feel, my dog. What you doing out here? You putting on glasses? Okay. That's rich, that's rich people shit right there. I respect that. That's love, man. I respect that. That's love, you know? That's love, you know? You know, I'm a little dude. That's respect, you know? Nah, all love. I think another shot is accountable. Absolutely. I think another shot is accountable. I'm on Chanchi. Yo, yeah. I'm in that zone. I'm not going to lie. Don't lie. Listen, when you get the check from... <laughs> no, no, you know what, man? I, I met with the guys. I met with the guys. They're not ready for us, bro. All right, listen. Well, I already met. It is not happening. Well, whenever you get the check, <laughs> we're, not the check right we're not getting the check right now. Shout out to Candela. We're not getting the check. No, all right, listen. I'm, I ain't say we. I said when you no, get no, the no, check. No, 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 no. We. I know this. Because you got it Pimple. on your back. Pimple brought this to us. But it's not happening yet. Holy moly, guac moly. I love, I love hip hop, man. Do you love hip hop? I love hip hop, my on, brother. Let me put a little bit of ice yes, sir. Oh, let me get Please, a little, can I get, get two of them? Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to touch you. Okay. okay. So hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Oh. Hey, you gonna float on that? I killed that. I killed that. Yeah. By lifting it up? Yeah, I killed that. Yeah, I transferred. I transferred the energy too. That was great energy. That was great energy. I transferred. Salute, man. Motherfucker, hey, dog. One thing you regret, that you could do all over. You could do it all over. Say, you know what? Let me do that different. Let me do it this way. What would it be? <clears throat> I think the way that... The way that I handled... Not to say that it was terrible or not to say that it was disrespectful, but I think that... If I could, with our situation, with like the me and Khaled situation, if I could have just handled it in a very different way. Not in a, not in a bad way, but if I could have just made minor changes in terms of how I exited out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it, I would have done that in a different way. You feel what I'm saying? Good. Like, it's not, I don't, I don't regret anything. I don't. But I, I, if I just, I, I would have exited It could have been done differently. It could have been done differently. Uh, and w what part do you think that um, you, could, like, you, you would do better? A conversation. Okay. A conversation beforehand as opposed to... Calling the lawyers? Did you call the lawyers first? I didn't call the lawyers first. What I did was... Um, Interviews? You know, I started to Correct express... You. Exactly. I started to express myself in the music. Or open letter? <clears throat> Not even to whom it may concern came came after when I got my independence. But uh, in that time, it was more so just I started to express myself in my music, as opposed to having a direct conversation with him was the open about it. Or, or no, 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 no. It, it was like uh, it's uh, that's when I went to Cali too. 
and it was Starvation 4 that I created. And I started speaking in my music about uh, how I felt like the label wasn't really in support of my ideas and the things that I wanted to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So as opposed to having a, 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 a you know, a behind doors conver you know, conversation with him just about my uneasiness and what I'm feeling. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> this is what I feel, bro. You know, I wish you would have came to me about this. I, w I wish we could have just hashed that out as men, but I wasn't a man back, you know what I mean, at that particular time to realize, not to say that I made any, any mistakes because I, I love where I am and I'm so grateful for where I am, you know what I'm saying? But it's just that, because I still would have made my exit. I still wanted my freedom. Don't get it twisted. I still wanted to go right, off and go do my own thing, right, right, you know? Yeah. But <clears throat> who knows? Who knows how, uh, who, who knows? That's all I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna just say who knows? Yeah, like one of the greatest things is like, when Snoop exited from Dr. Dre and went to Master P and Dr. Dre kept working with him. Mm -hmm. That was some crazy shit to me. Like, I know that shit gets overlooked a lot, but like, that was like almost like, yo, bro, your decision was right. Like, did you wish like you could have done that? Like, you know, when you exited, we the best and just kept that relationship so tight, like colleagues to Facts. still. Well, I think Facts. that's exactly yeah. kind of what he's saying. Facts, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. And I'm not gonna say that, but I'm. Um, I am gonna say that I do believe that the universe will align itself. I believe that's, you're that's gonna. That's what I'm gonna say. Nah, y'all definitely are good. I believe, I believe. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I that's what I'm gonna say. A hundred percent. Let's make some noise. Do that. I don't think there is smoke. I don't think no, there is. No, there definitely isn't. isn't. It isn't. I, I, I think he I talked think. highly of him. Yeah, with it us. isn't because you know and, you know and, we, we you know you you we never you know I never forget. Right. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing about when people talk about loyalty and all of that, dog. It's like you know. Just because we might have had a, a fallout or a disagreement, does that negate all of the greatness in the history that we created? Right. And the opportunities that were like, like right. Given. And if I if I refer if I become present and I drop myself in those moments, like this shit was beautiful, nigga. This shit was amazing, nigga. This shit changed my life, nigga. This shit, you know what I'm saying? Like this, right. my kids, my family, bro, like. My being, everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it changed everything. And you like, can't forget that the way that, that you've evolved and right. you're maturing, mm -hmm. he is as well. Exactly. Everybody's growing. Everybody's growing, bro. And everybody's making the same mistakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's the, at, at the end of the day, that's the reality of things, bro. Right. That's the reality. So for me, it's like, it's never to take that energy because we had a bad moment or we had a disagreement to be like, yo, oh, I don't rock with him on this or that and, and, and you know, talk, you know, taint his name out in public or whatever. That ain't right. my character, bro. Because I believe what's for me is for me and I'm destined for greatness because I am already. Right. Nigga, I am. Nigga, like it ain't, you know what I mean? Like, and once I learned that, it's like, we here. Right. We here. Yeah. Like, he great, so am I. Right. You feel me? Like, I need my own relationships. You feel me? I got to make my own moves and do my own thing. Like, bump my own head and live in my own glory. You feel me? Like, right. and I love that. And me, I ain't got no hatred in my heart and I think like what we had was great, but you know, you move but, on. But God bless. Y'all will fix this, bro. We're going to fix it. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to watch yeah. it. That's your, that's your drink. I'm sorry. You got to end it out good. Yes, sir. You got to end it out. Hey, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> your brother was in here. Bro. Yeah. We want you to know about what's happening, about what you're doing in the world. You have a platform like Drink Champs that fuck with you. Thank got you, your back. I understand your plight. Always. So make some noise. Take this flip.